zero, climb flight level three three zero. Three three zero, that's got four five one zero. Easy seven six Alpha Lima, thanks. Route direct not true, climb flight level three seven zero. Climb flight level three seven zero, easy seven six Alpha Lima. Easy seven six Alpha Lima, route direct not true. Direct not true, easy seven six Alpha Lima. Let us roll good afternoon, EZ4925, bandbox 24, Bristol, waiting 320, unit 125, request clearance to Geneva. EZ49, Charlie Papa, London Control, hello, clear Geneva, banning on X ray, runway 27, school 7213. Runway 2, 7, 7213, EZ49, Charlie Papa. Cool, hello everybody, and welcome back to the channel. Uh, we've turned into an ad hoc. Um, group flight again I think by the looks of it so uh, welcome to everybody those of you KM623 will be uh, hopping off for the network for a bit uh, thanks for the HC and have a great day KM623 Roger thanks for flying Okay, so guys, uh, we should be back. Sorry about that. Um, YouTube is still playing up on the primary ingest server, so uh, we are on the backup yet again. Uh, a little frustrating, but um, we're going to give it a go. I'm uploading at 20 megaseconds, so more than enough. Um, So our route today is going to take us over Exmouth. Go off across to taxi parking. And uh, we're going to be heading um, basically south, down to uh, France and then across to Madrid. So nice little journey. Hopefully we'll see all of that snow that they've uh, actually been getting over the last few days as well. That'll be quite cool. So uh, heading south over Exmoor and then uh, directly over um, a little sort of uh, western tip of France and then straight over Bilbao into Madrid. We've got sim brief uh, integration and, of course. Uh, Euro Charter 17 Hotel with you. Uh, if you're new to the channel, uh, we don't usually have all these issues with the server, but um, do click Euro that subscribe button down hotel. below. Control, hello, climb level 210, let's join control airspace, on track TOFED, climbing 210. Roger, climb flight level 210, uh, Euro Charter 17 Hotel, thank you. Climbing control, Shamrock 864, passing flight level 194, uh, climbing flight level 230, direct to Tepper. Shamrock 864, London control, hello. So pretty much all good to go, we need to get our clearance of course from London West, and uh, all the MCDU is input and complete for us as well. Uh, the init bay A page and things like that are all done. Uh, performance page, uh, we've got uh, 124 for a V1. Easy 1532, confirm your just going battery. crazy for some reason, not quite sure why. So, uh, we of course uh, need the APU on. Let's just get that on nice and quick. Nav lights are on. All the RS, everything's done as well. Uh, we've been on external power for the most. Zero Charter 17 Hotel, radar control service. Matthew, hello. Copy 17 Hotel. Uh, Rams, apparently there should be Zero Charter 17 Hotel. 50 your, uh, centimetres of snow for a brief apparently. time at, uh, what was the waypoint? Uh, Calgary? Uh, that's affirmative uh, for 17 Hotel. Uh, Zero Charter 17 Hotel, roger. Uh, just report entering the hold and uh, it's holding your discretion. Wilco, 17 Hotel, thank you. Lot of control, good afternoon, easy 3 2 Yankee Papa, stand 1 at Bristol, uh, Airbus A320 Neo, request RFR clearance to Madrid. Easy 3 2 Yankee Papa, London control, hello, climb flight level 237, Squawk 7315. Clear to Madrid, uh, Exmoor 1X ray departure, runway 27, Squawk 7315, easy 3 2 Yankee Papa. Easy 3 2 Yankee Papa, read back, correct. That's our squawk, 7315, that's all in. We'll leave it on auto for the time being. Uh, we'll just wait for that APU to fire up. And then we should be okay.
Matthew, nice, very nice, uh, <laughs> Daddy. Uh, I'll sort you out when I'm back. Although I think you mean beers, Rams, not bears. Keith, good morning. Ready in, good morning. Wooby, hello. Uh, got a few of the guys spawned in joining us today, as you can see. Uh, so Bristol's quite busy. Uh, nobody on this side yet. I'm waiting on one other guy. Uh, but all these uh, th these three other chaps around us are uh, subscribers on the channel, so say hello on the live chat while you're here. Multiple ways to support the stream, of course. Uh, you guys that are new, uh, you can click the links uh, that the bottle feed in every now and again if you wish to support the stream in any way. Uh, it's always welcome, though not required, of course. Just getting my charts ready uh, for the ground at Bristol. It's going to be push back um, and then face east, taxiing on Zulu. One man on but we need the SID as well. Exmoor 1 X ray. And it's a climb to 6000. Steebird 9 Lima, continue with you, Nikon 122 decimal 8. Bye bye. Yeah, Nikon 4. So take off uh, uh, after 5 miles uh, or so, turning left. Channel 864. To Somers. And down to Exmoor. For our departure, nice and easy. Bedek 1, Golf Arrival, Squawk 2201, Shamrock 864. Uh, Ramsey, I could get him a bear too as well. Gadget, no, it's, um, you weren't mistaken, uh, it's quite a last minute uh, stream today, so uh, there wasn't very much notice in fairness. Um, very last minute day off, so. We're at the UK 2000 Bristol Airport scenery of course. Uh, which they've released a little while ago for Microsoft Flight Simulator and it is quite, go quite good Human Reactions, uh, hello, you're on stand somewhere aren't you? Good afternoon, ET185 with you I at think. Bristol Airport Stand 2-2. Two, two. Let me all know, guys, uh, those Madrid. of you flying with us today, let me know if you've got all of your IFR clearance. Hello, Madrid, X4, 1X ray departure, runway 27, Squawk 7016. Good to Madrid, X4, 1X ray, runway 27, and just confirm Squawk 7016 for Speedbro 185. Hey, sir. Or Jets, I'll copy time, Speedbro 185. Guys, uh, you guys can start pushing back now if you uh, if you want to. Uh, a couple of you f can depart ahead if you like, and uh, quite open with it. I'm quite happy to do anything. Yeah, gadget. The stream does keep pausing. Um, some odd issues with. Um, the connection to the server for some reason. Easy one five Again. three two. Continue with Unicom now. One two two. That's the Bye bye. Easy one five three two. Contact Unicom. One two two. That's the KLM six two five. Continue with Unicom. One two two. That's the Bye bye. Unicom one two two. That's not eight. KLM six two five. Have a great day, boy. BB four nine. Charlie Papa, ready for push. Eighty four nine Charlie Papa. So, couple of the guys are going to push back. Push start approved runway two seven eighty four nine Charlie Papa. Yeah, we're we're on the uh, YouTube backup server again today, guys. Uh, frustratingly, not all working particularly well again. Not quite sure why. I am working on it. Rhino 732, confirm Director Batsy. Direct Popsy, Rhino 732. 732. A couple of guys uh, new to the channel, very warm Batsy, welcome to Bravo, all of you. Alpha, Delta, Thank Sierra, you for subscribing. India. Sorry, Direct Batsy, Bravo, Ruby's Alpha, Delta, APU is still Sierra, starting. India, Rhino 732. That's correct, descend when ready, flight level 200, level 5, Batsy. No problem at all. Uh, when ready, descend to flat level 200 uh, behind the bottom. So who's pushed? 
Uh, one of the guys down the bottom there. Flight figure 9989, continue with Unicom 122 decimal 8. Bye bye. Oh, it's Unicom 122 decimal 8, flight figure 998. <laughs> Correction 9989. Bye bye, thanks for service. This time for 470, continue with Unicom 122 decimal 8. Bye bye. So twin to Unicom, Lufthansa 470, thanks for ATC, bye bye. Let's get here, 1901, continue with Unicom 122, that's MLA, bye bye. Unicom 1601, thanks for service, MLA. Easy 76 Alpha Lima, continue with Unicom 122, that's MLA, bye bye. Unicom 4, easy 76 Alpha Lima, thanks, bye bye. Easy 32 Yankee Papa, uh, request push start. Easy 32 Yankee Papa, stand one, push to start approved from 027. Push start approved from 027, easy 32 Yankee Papa. So let's get on our way. Cockpit to ground. A couple of Go guys still welcome. booting up, we are ready uh, but it's not back. too bad. But twinkle, welcome. Roger. Release the parking brakes, please. Parking brakes released. Ricardo, sure. welcome. Uh, London, uh, easy uh, 479 at stand two, uh, requesting push back and start up. Easy 479, stand by, hold position. Keith, yeah, we're climbing quite nicely, um, albeit with issues with uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator, of course, giving us problems. Uh, well, you, the YouTube uh, ingest server for streams causing us issues, I suppose. Uh, Bristol ATIS, then, guys, uh, it's information echo, runway in use is 27, transition level, flight level 70, surface wind 260 at 6 knots, visibility 10 kilometres or more. Overcast, 1,200 feet. Actually, easy 429, uh, Visibility 10 kilometres or more. Uh, yep, uh, temperature plus 3 easy degrees. Dew point plus 3 back. degrees. Yeah, we can do that. QNH 1025. Roger, push to start approved from a uh, straight push. Roger, push to start approved from a straight push. Easy 479. Just too far with you, flight level 10 You see uh, Gatwick's very busy again, of course. Arrival, expect runway 30, descend when ready, flight level 160, level by AMRA. Oh, Bristol is getting very busy now. Love all you guys tuning in and flying as well, it makes it pretty cool. Arrival, ILS, uh, so let's start up engine descend 2. Descend ready, uh, 16 by uh, AMRA, uh, just too far. The Europe Car Easy Jet Special Livery is on flight yeah, from .to. You guys can download it for free. Currently on way to Kennet at flight level 180. Ryanair 1122, London Control. Hello, route direct Bad Z. What's your final request for cruise level? Uh, that is my uh, cruise level as well. Loads of aircraft. Up, uh, awesome. If you like me to, Ryanair 1122. Ryanair 1122, Roger. Just you remain in flight control airspace. Climb flight level 200. Okay, I'm not afraid, uh, the sound mod uh, for the ground. Um, gadget, of course you can, join the flight. Um, Speed in London Centre, easy 194. Requesting F5 claims to Madrid. So we have Inspiration Pushback Express. Easy 194, London Control, hello, cleared to Madrid. X41 X-ray departure, runway 27, Okay, let's hope is disconnected and the equipment is clear. We will see you on the left side with the pen. And we Thanks. also and have... Disconnect and go to hand signal. Uh, Thanks. Have a good flight. See you later. V Pilot, which is the VATSIM client, gives us the live ATC as well, of course. Easy 194, cleared Madrid, X41 X ray departure, squawk 7271. Easy 194, cleared to Madrid, easy X14 departure, from a T7, squawk 7271. Easy 194, read back, correct. Easy 49 Charlie Papa, ready for taxi. Close, push back express. Easy 49 Charlie Papa, taxi hold Zulu 2. Zulu 2, easy 49 Charlie Papa. In here we actually done a straight push there. Uh, as the tower controller's asked him to do. Uh, so the guys behind has just been given clearance to taxi to Zulu 2, that's uh, that whole point right behind us here, this is Zulu 2 here. Zulu 1's a little bit further back, um, the other side of the apron itself. Got you, all of you guys coming to Madrid, that's awesome if that's the case. So 
So you can go at taxi lights, wing lights, beacon, uh, APU off, ignition mode start. I should have turned the beacon on. Uh, easy 479 uh, requesting taxi. I knew I'd forgotten something. Easy 479 taxi holding point alpha X ray runway 27 QNH 1025. At least my rudder pedals have stopped now. Uh, taxi uh, holding point uh, alpha X ray for runway 27 QNH 1025, easy 479. William, nice one. There's going to be quite a few departing, so uh, not too much of a rush. There's about seven of us going to Madrid. Whoops, uh, predicted windshield is still off, of course. Hello, route direct Manig. Direct Manig, uh, Ryanair, 1 Quebec, Lima. Easy 3-2 Yankee Papa, request taxi. Easy 3-2 Yankee Papa, follow the company A320 near to holding point Alpha X-ray, runway 27, QNH 1026. Two fly. Uh, follow the company traffic ahead uh, to Alpha X Ray QNH 1025, EZ3 to Yankee Papa. EZ49 Charlie Papa, taxi holding point Alpha X Ray, runway 27. Limit power. QNH 1025. We're fairly light Alpha today, at, runway 27, uh, 57 QNH 1025, ton. So Papa. we're going to go flaps 1 plus F, takeoff config. And EZ185 is ready for pushing start. You press that button there, usually once um, the actual animations for the flap settings have changed. Easy 185, stand 22, two, push to start approved, runway 27. Push to start approved, runway 27, easy 185. Cabin crew will call. I'm actually going to see if my rudder pedals, because uh, I've had to retweak the settings, I'm going to see what they do. Request 10 minutes away, please. I've got 4510, it's approved, report back. Let's drop it up and go to the gas Real busy. Golf with you, Alpha November Bravo, London Control, hello, start is approved. The uh, Phillies regional pressure 1026. I don't have any weather data course. for uh, Vanden. Golf November Bravo, Roger, taxi holding point, Alpha runway 34, in use. Taxi by uh, over to the Alpha. Swift 25, descend flight level 150. Easy four seven nine. You ready for departure? Uh, yep. Easy four seven nine. Easy four seven nine. Roger. Runway two seven. Surface wind two six zero degrees six knots. Clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff. Runway two seven. Easy four seven nine. Easy three two. Yankee Papa behind the departing company A three twenty near. Fire off X ray. Line up and wait. Runway two seven behind. Fire off for X ray. We line up and wait. Uh, runway two seven behind. Uh, easy three two. Yankee Papa. So, the fuel reaction has been well. cleared to take off, uh, so we can go and get it, everything set up as well. We've right been told to line up and wait behind, so for those of you tuning in, that just means that we're going to taxi in behind him as he departs. Ryanair 732, descent flight level 200. This is not level 200, Ryanair 732. Musketeer 154, continue with Unicorn 122, decimal 8, bye bye. Excellent, you can put it for the Muscle 1 and 4 This is where you guys fly and realise how far behind Thank streams you, can we're, be. Uh, take basically 20, we're on stand 3 at Bristol here with information that on QNH 1025, we're pushing IFR clearance to Newcastle on file, please. Roger, I'll call you back, break, break. Uh, Swiss 25, descent flight level 110. Down to 110, Swiss 25. Shamrock 864, expect flight level 140 at Bedeck, descend when ready, flight level 220. Expect 140 at Bedeck when ready, descend, uh, flight level 220, Shamrock 864. Easy signal, Foxtrot Whiskey, cleared Newcastle, Brecon 1 X-ray departure, Squawk 7267. Cleared Newcastle, Brecon 1 X-ray departure, Squawk 7267, easy, 6-5 Foxtrot Whiskey. So, human reactions is airborne? Easy 185, ready for taxi. AZ 185, taxi up, holding point Alpha X ray, runway 27, QNH 1025. Alpha X ray, runway 27 and QNH 1025, AZ 185. Alpha and Bravo, Golf November Bravo, Golf November Bravo, Roger, runway 30, correction, runway 34, clear for takeoff, surface wind. Easy jet, take it over here. Uh, unknown. Clear for takeoff on runway 34, Golf and Bravo. Hello, hello, easy 83 Victor Lima, 8320, stand for Bristol, QH1225. If I can crash clearance to Newcastle. 
Aviate 3, Victor Lima, London Patrol, hello, cleared Newcastle, Bracken 1, X-ray, departure, Skork 1072. Cleared to Newcastle, Bracken 1, X-ray, 1072, EV 73, Victor Lima, read back, correct. EV 479, report your passing altitude. Passing altitude, uh, 4,000 feet. EV 479, thanks, direct Notch Road, climb flight level 330. Excuse me, give a shortcut for direct separation. Direct climb flight level 330, EV 479, no. We get brakes off. Just right, hold, seven, three, hold two, the continue with Unicorn one two two decimal eight. Bye bye. Once we depart, I'm going to go and get the. Uh, I'm going to try and get the uh, stream sorted again by some other methods. Swift two five descend flight level eight zero. Even the backup server's not doing too well today. Easy three two Yankee Papa winds. Uh, go on, there they are. Two six zero degrees six knots two seven clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff. Easy three two Yankee Papa. AV49 Charlie Papa behind departing uh, EZA A320 Neo, line up await runway 27 behind. Behind the departing company A320 Neo, line up await runway 27 behind EZ49 Charlie Papa. So flex. EZ194 stand 23 push and start approved runway 27. Push that approved runway 27. The infamous, uh, infamous Bristol hump, of course. What's it right? Go up. Let's activate autopilot as well. Delta, hello, EZ74 Romeo with you. Stand 8 at Bristol, 321025 with QNH, reverse Newcastle. Bumpy. EZ74 Romeo, London Control, hello, cleared Newcastle, Bracken 1, X ray departure, score 3, correction 0326. Uh, Bracken 1, X ray 0326 for the score EZ74. And we should be back. Must be restrictions in close lines. Climb flight level 19, correct. Climb flight level 180. Flight level 180, easy 49 Charlie Papa. Easy 185, Squawk Ident, report your passing altitude. Okay, we're back, guys, I think. Squawk Ident, uh, 4,500 feet. Apologies uh, for that. I think that might have helped. 185, thanks, climb now, flight level 330. He says, might have helped. Uh, it should have helped. 330 for easy 185. Easy one nine of four surface wind two six zero degrees six knots runway two seven clear for takeoff. What I've ended up doing is um, completely recycling the YouTube stream feed. Um, Easy six zero three five taxi holding point Alpha X ray runway two seven QNH one zero two five. Holding point Alpha X ray via Tempest Zulu London EZ65 Foxtrot, Whiskey, request push and start, stand 3. EZ65 Foxtrot, Whiskey, hold position, one aircraft to pass behind. What I need to do is, very quickly, I uh, might do it when we get nearer towards um, Madrid actually, put the um, stream thing settings back on again. London West Control, good day, you uh, Austrian 75, happy with your flight level 3990. Austrian 75, London Control, uh, hello, score 0335. Big Alex says it seems better. Oh, Hopefully, there is um, one or two things that I can try again shortly if it goes horribly wrong. So uh, just keep me updated. Uh, it's frustrating right, when it doesn't quite work out, guys. For right, so I appreciate you being patient. We had the issue the other day as well, didn't we? Um, hopefully we're going to get it fixed. Gets a little frustrating. After a while, doesn't it? Red Lane spoke too soon. Uh, it's interesting. Uh, all of my internet is absolutely fine. Um, v Pilot etc. is uh, working really well.
Easy 49 Charlie Papa, resume our navigation, direct to Vapid, climb flight level 210. Direct right, Vapid and flight level 210, was it at Easy 49 Charlie Papa? Thanks, sir. Channel Gate 64, contact London Control, 129 at decimal 425, bye bye. 129 at decimal 425, Shamrock 864. Easy 479, continue with Unicorn, 122 decimal 8, bye bye. Yeah, it's, um, it's odd, isn't uh, it? Continue with Unicorn, um, make a bad amount of easy 479. I've tried to do a lot of things on my side though, so I'm not quite sure what is it, what it is doing, but let me try a few other bits. Easy 194, report your passing altitude. Passing Getting sidetracked, not even there. Uh, Easy 194, thanks, climb now, flight level 330. Like flying the aircraft properly at the minute. Easy 194, say again. Easy 194, climb now, flight level 330. Climb level 330, Easy 194. Easy 49, Charlie Papa, contact London Control 129, decimal 425, bye bye. London Control 129, decimal 425, Easy 49, Charlie Papa, thanks. Yeah, I think, uh, Ian, I think you're probably right. Easy 6035, Roger. Surface wind 260 degrees, 6 knots, runway 27. Clear for takeoff. Yeah, it's certainly frustrating, though. Um, scratching my head, my side, what I could do. Love it, control. Easy 83, Victor Lima, taxi. Easy 83, Victor Lima, taxi, holding point Alpha X. Ruby, good, Ian, good, thank you. Thank you. Big Alex, that sounds good. Um, although I don't want to speak too soon, I guess. Easy six five, hot shot whiskey, apologies to the delay, stand three, push and start approved, runway two seven. No problem, push and start approved, stand three, easy six five, hot shot. In the west, low to the UA line. This is Alpha, stand two two, gun the uh, with no permission, Donia two two eight, looking for two two London. Okay, two states at once, uh, uh, A-Line 606 Alpha, London Patrol, hello, cleared, Heathrow, West Drawn, X-ray departure, runway 27, Squawk 1254. Okay, my other suggestion would be uh, something that might actually end up breaking the... Uh, two, two London Heathrow, the Oracle, departure of runway 27, and the Squawk 1254, A-Line 606 Alpha. 606 Alpha, correct, break back, 1194, with direct throw. I hope so. I'm trying to read it. Uh, I've got 4510 on control. Roger, welcome back. Uh, confirm your requesting level 330. Would you like time? Uh, 330 is our final level. I've got 4510. Roger, thanks. David says it seems better. Flight still is. Uh, yeah, we are using um, OBS. Easy 6035, thanks. Climb now. Flight level 110. Climb 110, easy 6035. Uh, good, uh, good uh, afternoon, uh, EZ321, uh, stand 2 at uh, Bristol, uh, this is the first time I've got to... Still people getting clearance. EZ321, London Control, hello, clear, Madrid, 4-1 X-ray, departure, it's walked 4 4 Andy, three, four. Uh, annual leave. Annual leave. Might as well, eh? Just for the day. Uh, Back in tomorrow, of course. Oh, sorry, can you repeat the departure, please? Easy 1321, X41, X-ray departure. Well, I'm streaming the entire stream live on uh, my own phone, so... Uh, Easy 321, read back, correct. So basically I could try and monitor the live chat in case it breaks on my computer, so uh, double-wedged sword, I guess, or double whammy. Easy 83, Victor Lima, wind 260 degrees, 6 knots, from wave 2 7, clear for takeoff. If it starts to buffer again, let me know, I can try and uh, force it back over to the other server. Like to start on stand, you can do that. The uh, primary server again. Uh, yeah, we'll do that. Yeah. There is about, um, from when you guys are comment Roger, commenting, there's around about a one minute delay at the moment, which is uh, not usually the case. Usually it's 10 to 30 I've got seconds. 4510, confirm you're on standard pressure. <laughs> Shield says it cancelled, nice. Uh, already authorised. Uh, yeah, that'll help. <laughs> and I am PA to the boss. Yeah, I guess I am PA to the boss. So much for the Covid, so, eh? Once we get towards Unicom, I need to quickly go back into settings and force pull the... 
Vampire 3 data four. across hello. 10, hello, uh, welcome. Not quite in my effect yet, so remain outside control airspace, contact me uh, inbound to Gloucester, approximately 20 miles away. I can't see inbound Gloucester, Vampire 3 four. That's got 4510, contact Shannon Control 131, SML 150, bye bye. Uh, Shannon Control 131450, I've got 4510, Easy 60353, direct Notro, climb flight level 350. Through direct Notro, Still in the climb, of course. 290 knots, uh, Shannon Good afternoon, Ryan Air 2250, I'm now. Right now, 23 Romeo Lodge, oh, hello, climb flight level 320. We're going 1200 foot per minute just for a bit more of an economical climb. 320 Romeo. Right now, 10 Romeo, with you, flight level 210, heading 250 degrees. Right now, 75 Tango, Lost Control, Roger, maintain level 210. Maintain 210, right now, 75 Tango. Right now, 75 Tango, turn right, heading 275. First officer. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, make me laugh. Right air three three eight descent. When ready, flight level two hundred level by Batsy. Uh, when ready, descend flight level two hundred level by Batsy uh, for Ryan air three three eight. Ryan air two three Romeo route direct to Batsy. Route direct Batsy, Ryan air two three Romeo. You've had 2 2 India Tango, London Control. Really Hello, good. Medic, one hotel. I've been arrived. fiddling with the settings a uh, little bit on my side, zero. so hopefully that, you know, he's, hopefully he says it, it's going to sort it out. It's, it's uh, exceptionally four, delayed though, yeah. um, so just bear with me on the live chat because it's, it's usually okay. You've had 2 2 India Tango, thanks. Direct. But we are almost sort of running into two minutes delay at the moment. Uh, the live chat, so. If it gets any worse, I'll start to reply manually. Uh, FL 360's got a question. Right now, question easy, 32 Yankee Papa, continue with Unicorn, 122 decimal 8, bye bye. Continue Unicorn, 122 decimal 8, uh, for easy, 32 Yankee Papa, thank you, have a good day. Right now, 1 Quebec Lima, continue Unicorn, 122 decimal 8, bye bye. This is okay, bye. there's no cockpit, but can we can use all airplanes as traffic on VATS? Yeah. Uh, so if it's got an AI model, if it's got an AI model on it, easy, 82 Victor Lima, thanks, direct target, flying flight level 240, then you should be okay. Um, you could give it a go. Um, I suppose if it's got a model on it, then it should it should effectively work. But I, I guess it depends on how. Um, I guess it depends how actually the sim speaks to itself um, and speaks to VPilot because it still doesn't do it particularly well. Ready in? Yeah, interesting. Um, Perhaps it is my side today. The frustrating thing is, it says it's got an excellent connection on my side, yet it still causes, yeah, it's still throwing a couple of issues for us, and uh, it's, it's actually giving me. Um, let's see. Oh no, it's telling me we're we're down, we're uploading at uh, eight megaseconds, so. That's good enough for this. Let's turn the overlay back on uh, so you guys can see what's going on on that side of things. Almost a cruise. What I, what I need to do is actually try and get. Uh, I might do it now, uh, if I can remember where the settings were. I'll do it later. When we get nearer towards Madrid, I need to put photogrammetry stuff back on again. Because it seems to have turned itself off. In fact, let's quickly do it now. Uh, where was it? General? Data. Oh no, it's all on. Uh, data limitation off. Let's do uh, Yeah, actually, I suppose 40 meg. That's it's all on anyway. Discard that so I don't change anything. Don't want to break it, do we? Uh, ready in, yeah, once uh, once a, every couple of weeks usually. Um, well, I'll probably restart it again today. T 
to be fair, I've been changing quite a few bits. Uh, but it's still showing that I'm sticking it up at 16 megasecond. Uh, very well. The other screen a minute ago said 8, but it uh, seems to be doing okay. Fingers crossed. Maco Simulations, good afternoon. Making good progress on Birmingham, of course. Um, for you folks uh, who don't know who Maco is, he's um, the creator of the Ma Great Manchester Airport scenery that we've covered quite a lot on the channel, so do check that out as well. I can highly recommend that. Bris uh, Birmingham is coming along very nicely as well. Stoners. <laughs> nice. Hopefully... Uh, Hopefully the uh, the captain's enjoying it. <laughs> oh dear. Gadget's only just pushing. Wow. Well, there's going to be about 30 minutes worth of arrivals at Madrid then, with all of us lot flying in. It's great you guys are tuning in and flying at the same time. It's always good. Makes it enjoyable. Yeah, ready. And I might have to try it a little bit more, to be honest. Um, move the channels around and things. Usually, um, you guys know it's um, it's absolutely fine. Usually, it's flawless. It's just been this last couple of days; it's not been working too well. Ready, and uh, that's good. Uh, good, good decision. It's a great piece of scenery. So as you can see at the top, your overlay is showing uh, obviously we departed Bristol en route to Madrid. Uh, estimated time of arrival at 15.56 Zulu. So just prior to 4pm UK time. And uh, that should say easy 3 to Yankee Papa, so I've just uh, amended that of course. Big Alex, uh, yeah it's... Um, Manchester Airport for Microsoft Flight Simulator. And yeah, he's working on Birmingham, which is looking very good at the moment, I've got to say. So there's about four or five of you guys behind us, uh, one or two ahead. Scandinavian, hello, welcome. You guys are always welcome to join on uh, live streams, of course, and uh, fly with us, as uh, quite a few of you have chosen to do today. And uh, if there's anything you guys want to see, if there's any tutorials or any bits of content in particular that you'd personally like, then just let me know. Uh, either here or on our Discord server. Uh, Scandinavian, very good question. Uh, I can find out actually, I can get the link. Uh, bear with me, let's get that link for you. Nice. Uh, is that the um, what tour is that actually? They said it's via Columbia. You've done your Atlantic crossing, haven't you? If that's the case. I'm actually going to be working on some videos for Fly UK um, over the next month or two uh, for some of their events, like the Circle to Land 
procedure that we did the other day on a uh, on a tutorial video going into Innsbruck um, they're going to be effectively using some of my content to help other people within the Fly UK um, community so that's going to be quite good uh, I've got a couple of bits to be working on including uh, Jackio as well Big Alex uh, has asked what is my current evaluation of the fly-by-wire mod uh, it's getting there it is very very good of course today we are testing um, one of the items um, basically uh, some of the things in the MCD have been changed and we're seeing if it breaks throws up any error messages throughout the flight at any point and so far of course it's looking okay Sixty to eighty miles behind. Wow. To be fair, that's um, you've probably got two or three in front as well. I'd imagine, although I've not checked uh, bat scan or anything like that. In Fly UK, I've got some very very good tools actually. Uh, there's events on most of the days of the week as well on their own. Uh, the, the FSD server, though I quite I don't quite understand that yet myself. Um, I'm still getting my head around uh, the that, those sort of things. If you're new to the channel, do click the subscribe button down below as well. Join us as a frequent flyer. And if you're enjoying today's video, then do click the like button. Um, notwithstanding, of course, the uh, couple of issues we had with the stream at the very beginning. But uh, a very warm welcome to those of you who are new and uh, those of you who regularly come back as well. But as we'll be saying, um, compared to the default, it is uh, a completely, well, it's in its own level, really. Um, the focus for it is, of course, um, it being study level. So there are going to be issues with it. There are going to be uh, times where um, you need to know how the aircraft works to get the most out of it. same time um, I think they're the, only, they're the only aircraft mod in the community at the moment that are actually making quite significant progress on on uh, at least a default aircraft but just an aircraft overall we don't have we don't have a, a uh, study level aircraft in the sim yet so this is the absolute best we've got by far for an airliner of course working working title quite a few of you guys regularly tune in use it um, that is quite a good bit of kit I've not used it, I just I find the aircraft too small really. Um, but they're the first project to actually implement working holds and some other things, so if you're looking for something different, something new, then I can highly recommend trying that out at least. Um, it does certainly tick a lot of boxes, so fully automated and working holds for example. Ready in? Yep. Um, so you join Fly UK as a Class E first officer, I believe. In fact, uh, I think I just sent you the wrong link there. So, um, ready in, as I was uh, just saying there, sorry, I got sidetracked a little. Um, you start off as a Class E first officer, and the point really is to just, uh, the first 10 hours, I guess you're learning you're learning how to uh, use Skytrack uh, and a few other bits. Um, you get used to working within the Fly UK network, I guess. Uh, there is some very nice scenic flights, and of course, being a small aircraft, it is a slightly... Um, slightly more playful bit I guess uh, to the sim so you 
Yeah, the, there is lots to enjoy with flying the uh, A32, um, sorry, the uh, Class E aircraft, the Cessna Caravan in Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 as we know it. Uh, and I, I quite enjoyed it. Um, and then, of course, after 10 hours, you get the Class D rating, and you can actually then step into. Um, the A320 again. Uh, so quite a few of the, uh, the guys on the channel have been working away over the last couple of days on Class E, getting their 10 hours up, uh, and they've now made it to Class D so they can get back into the A320, which is really good. LDR, good afternoon to you too, and uh, you're very welcome. I'm glad you're enjoying the channel, glad you're enjoying the tutorials as well. Um, those of you who watched the Circle to Land tutorial yesterday, uh, I'll be interested to uh, to know how you get on in the comments for that. If you uh, give the circle to land procedure a go, of course every aircraft is different as well. So, um, and actually, in fact, we've also got uh, track FPA working in the Airbus A320 Neo now. So, we would ordinarily have used that in the tutorial too, yeah, if I'd have had that at the time of recording. Let's see if I can show you guys that actually. So. I will be doing a tutorial over uh, over the next few weeks about it. Um, Scandinavian, yet yeah, at a very, very good price. So the green diamond that you guys can see there, that is our track. That's where the aircraft is actually going. The yellow line is the uh, heading. If I go into heading track mode, we get what's called the bird, which you can see there. And ordinarily, if we're using that in the flight, we would turn the flight directors off and you can see the wings of the bird and there's a little green bit there as well which is the tail and then the circle is obviously the actual body of the aircraft and uh, circle to land procedure and glide slopes and things if it's a three degree glide slope you pretty much line up that bird with the three degree line, the five degree line or whatever else uh, you're, you're using for a, uh, a descent or an approach. It's pulling in the next bit of weather. The sim is very unnecessarily violent when it transitions from one piece of weather to the next. Uh, Wesley, good day, good afternoon. Uh, so that's the bird. You can see there the wind's actually changed to a crosswind, so this is good, good timing for us. So now our track has changed. The bird has moved left of our actual heading. So the yellow wings and the dot represent our heading as do the yellow line on the nav display on the right and the yellow line down below on the PFD and the bird the green line represents the green diamond so as a very good representation actually if we look at the nav display our heading the aircraft is pointing the nose is pointing to the yellow line but our track the green diamonds which is where the aircraft is heading is uh, where the bird is so we're crabbing into wind slightly because we've got that 30 knot 29 knot crosswind now, which is now violently changing again for some reason Wesley, yep, no problem at all, far away so um, joint approaches, if it's a 3 degree glide slope we'd be looking to fly that um, 3 degree glide slope using the bird if we wanted to particularly useful for things like circle to land procedures. So it looks like it's potentially stabilised again. But it's now got a 30 knot tailwind, which is good. One thing that I do recommend actually for those of you who use Unreal Weather, I find that in the cruise it can be quite um, off because it's still pulling metal data in based on the ground. So what I recommend at that point is um, considering at least going onto your just the normal live MSFS weather instead. Um, but if you can get your head around uh, track FPA then that is really really useful for approaches and uh, depending on the approach actually into Madrid I could uh, demonstrate it to you guys there uh, but I'll be looking to do a proper tutorial of it in due course. Um, as I said earlier, it's particularly useful for circle to land procedures. We haven't got a approach in for Madrid yet, but we are expecting runway 32 left. 
uh, currently. Paris Control, they're obviously not under our wing. What I'm really hoping for is we're going to get to Madrid and we're going to see a lot of snow because they've had 50 centimetres of snow over the last two two days, I think. Um, Wesley, I'm just reading your question there. You request descent and they tell you to land via our DME at, uh, for example, runway 15. Um, and you're asking, can you reply negative? So, if you're flying into an airport with multiple approach types and the controllers assign you a VOR DME, um, if you if you can't do it, then uh, just say um, enable request an ILS uh, approach but it has to be in relation to the wind and stuff like that as well so if you, if you request an approach for a runway that's going to give you a tailwind then they're likely to say no um, and especially if other aircraft on Vatsim are around you Echo, good afternoon, sorry I'll just uh, just catching up on the live chat Gadget's uh, airborne as of five minutes ago, wow um, that is impressive, so we are, we are all spread across uh, from France to Bristol then all on this uh, ad hoc group flight. I guess, uh, Wesley, there's nothing wrong in asking for an ILS runway 26. Um, if, if the runway is not in use though, then the ATC might tell you no, um, unable. Um, but if there is a if there's chance that you can get a ILS on the runway that they're trying to assign for the VOR, then uh, you could just ask for that. Uh, because frequently you will have um, VOR or ILS approaches for the same runway. So you might have VOR DME for runway 15, but a secondary option might also be an I I ILS for runway 15 or an RNAV approach for runway 15. Uh, RNAV approaches, by the way, that is when the bird really comes into play. Um, it's very useful. Gadget, nice. Uh, my, it was a uh, Ryzen. Was it a Ryzen five fifty six hundred X or something that you said? Bots going crazy. One of the messages there, you guys can see um, channel memberships are now live as well. So uh, if you wanted to support the stream but also unlock exclusive perks, um, emojis and badges and things, then uh, go ahead and click that link for more information. And if you've got any questions or if there's any perks that you guys would like to see from a channel membership, then let me know because I can tweak them. Um, 5600X, very nice. I've got a Ryzen... Oops got a Ryzen 5 3600X uh, myself and it's pretty good um, although when the sim goes to um, DirectX 12 then it's going to really stand out once it can use multi-core Max uh, we're in the a test version of the de uh, of the dev version actually so uh, as usual being uh, as I'm a QA tester for those who don't know for the fly by wire team um, I will test updates to the aircraft for the sim before they go into the development version. Uh, and that's what we're doing today. Although we've had absolutely no issues with the MCDU um, just yet. I think William was asking what runway we're going to be landing on. Um, and I think I'm, I was planning for runway 32 left.
Gadget's uh, saying the 3 2 left is good for him, that's good. Probably be using that then, um, unless others have got other ideas. The wind definitely suggested a uh, northerly approach, so um, at least we could work that out. Scandinavians just ordered the TCA Airbus Quadrant set uh, coming on Tuesday. Nice. That is going to be an exceptional piece of kit for you. Um, got a little bit of uh, setup envy there. I would really like the TCA kit. Uh, I'm not sure if they, uh, some of you guys watching might know actually um, whether they've fixed the quadrant issues and the uh, mapping of the TCA kit. Flappy Boy, of course, uh, yep. Yeah. Um, have a little look on VATSCAN to see where we all are. It might be worth you joining from Bilbao um, or maybe Lyon or somewhere south of France. In fact, uh, what I could do is I could get Navigraph back up again at risk of uh, causing YouTube many problems. And I can show you guys uh, Navigraph. So, about halfway. Flappy Boy, if you're going to spawn in, I would probably recommend you join at um, Bilbao for a very, very short journey. It'll be about a 30 minute flight for you, um, directly south. Um, or similarly, um, look at joining from. Uh, let's see, what have we got here? La Rochelle. That could be one. Um, Bordeaux, actually. LFBD. Join from Bordeaux and then go to Madrid. Because then it should be around about the same sort of time. There's a load of you guys behind as well, which is cool. And uh, if we look at our charts list. got lots of different options uh, for Madrid uh, but we're going to be using that non to arrival uh, non to Charlie I think it is non to uh, at flight level 150 and then Orbis at flight level 140 we're tracking a VOR Navas del Rey uh, VOR uh, William uh, using uh, ILS runway 32 left I think uh, the clearance limit is um, MVS, Navas del Rey, and then we're going to be turning, actually, we're not going to be using a non 22 Charlie. We're going to be using this one, a non 22 Alpha, apologies, um, that's for the other runway. So non 2 at flight level 150, down to Orbis, max 250 knots, 12,000 feet. Into Rilco, there's a hold at Soma Sierra if we need it. Uh, hold at Rilco as well, you guys can see on the charts here, there's different holds for us there uh, whilst we're inbound. And then straight in from Rilco to join our approach, uh, which we can check here on the charts, runway 32 left, uh, left. There's ILS Zulu or ILS 3T, uh, ILS Whiskey. Yeah, I'm getting my, all my wires crossed today, guys. Good grief. Non-22 Charlie is the arrival procedure. Because we need to come in via um, Navas del Rey. Yeah, good grief. Apologies. I need another coffee. Uh, but yeah, anyway, from uh, Navas del Rey going into towards Tobek, that initial approach fix, as you guys can see there. A couple of miles from the Perales VOR. And then the ILS Zulu. So there's Tobek Perales at VOR, and then we're turning left in for that inbound 3 2 left ILS approach. Because it's a handmade airport, I've noticed that Sobo, um, well, at least in the MCDU, the RAD nav page is blank. So you guys uh, using 3 2 left, like I am, will need to input 109.9 into your RAD nav page for the ILS. And uh, we've got our missed approach data there as well. So, missed approach, climb, turn left, left again, back to Rofix for the hold. And there's our approach charts. It's a three degree glide slope, 
So remind me when we're closer and uh, what I'll do is I'll turn track FPA on so you guys can actually see what a three degree glide slope would look like uh, if you're using the bird. And uh, we'll do a DH of 50 for Cat 3 ILS. Transition altitude of 13,000 feet. Just making a note of the ILS frequency, 109.9. What we also want is uh, Baraja uh, VOR because, uh, let's have a quick look at this. Uh, that Braha VOR uh, for Mr. Proach. Be alright. And then we'll go through the rest of it as we get a little closer. What does the sim actually tell us uh, that we're going in fire? Non to LMD rivals. If in doubt, choose Zulu. Non to two Charlie is what we want, and we want to come in via Tobek. And we can check that by going to the plan page. We we'll zoom into 40. Uh, we'll have to insert it. And we could just have a little look on the screen. Titan, Ratas, Nia, Nontu, Orbis, NVS, which is that VOR, inbound to Tobek. There we go, so that's perfect, that's what we want. Nontu to Charlie, as uh, UC is saying there as well, actually, on the uh, live chat. Radnav page 109.9 has gone in, now we've selected the approach, so that's all good, we don't need to do that manually. But I'll go ahead and prep uh, 116.45 uh, for the Baraha VOR. And uh, the transition altitude was 13,000, so let's get rid of that. And that decision high of 50. Wesley, sounds good. Whereabouts are you going to be flying? We have to be at flight level 150 at non 2. That's, uh, that's the key point really for us there. Starting off easy. Dublin to Gatwick. That's a good route to be fair. That is a good route. Uh, it would be a busy route though. I'd imagine there would be a lot of traffic potentially. South coast of France will be uh, just over on our left hand side there on our 9 o'clock. Aviation Sim, yes, special livery that we're using today, of course. Uh, 
there. Let's see if I can, without deafening you guys, so we go to an external view. You know what I did forget today? To change the key binds so that we don't have issues with. Uh, I've got duplicate. Uh, I've got duplicate key binds still, which do cause me significant problems when I'm using drone cam. It's a great livery. I'm waiting for Aviation Simulation to point out that I've uh, not got a registration number printed at the top. What we will want to do is look at our descent uh, forecast. So as we did before, I'm going to put into the live chat a URL for you guys to look at. Wesley, yeah, ongoing monthly, uh, that's the, the memberships you're mentioning there, Wesley, yeah, so um, effectively, so I can get through to most people at least, I thought I would be able to offer some sort of one-to-one -one batsman training to try and help with anybody's specific issues, uh, like once, once a month, do a little training flight together or something like that, if uh, that's something that people would be interested in for the, that's the gold membership level. Um, but then you'd also get access to private live streams, so we would stream together as a membership uh, level uh, with a bespoke stream just for that mem for the gold free flyers. Uh, but then you'd also get some really cool badges and some emojis and stuff to use as well. Um, you'd get variations of our um, channel logo actually. That <laughs> Williams, uh <laughs> nice. Gadget, um, Rex, I don't use it, I use Unreal Weather, it's uh, because it's free, uh, Rex is I think basically the same. Our descent forecast is, um, It's telling us that uh, we just want 60 nautical miles with a 3 degree glide slope, vertical speed of uh, 1,300 foot per minute. Um, and we can use track FBA for that as well. When we get a bit closer, we can uh, I can show you guys how to use track FBA for that too. Uh, so basically, I'll call that 60 nautical miles uh, with a 14 minute descent time. That apparently. Yeah, I'm guessing is it unreal whether only available for Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. I'm not not too familiar with uh, with the other sims, so uh, let me know. Aviation sim, uh, oh, no, I just leave it. Um, I leave it as a dash now because there's so many liveries available that have got a, um, a registration number already actually built onto the livery that I just I don't change it. It's actually the first time I've landed on a northern approach, um, or not a 
northerly facing runway at Madrid. Normally I'll, I come in and land on uh, runway 18, so... William, I hope so. Um, we were all spawned in at Bristol prior to the stream for about 10-20 minutes, and uh, London London uh, West came online, didn't they? So uh, that would be quite cool if uh, we do get that online. Would be quite good. Although that said, if we don't get a controller come online, what we could do is a simultaneous ILS approach. So one of us takes runway 32 left, and the other one takes runway 32 right, and we come in parallel approach, something like that. That would be quite. That could be quite cool. Uh, we could all give that a go. Um, if if we're still on unit. so I can see what's going on, keep up to date. Uh, so we're looking for non to which I think is after Ratas. Uh, after NEA, okay, fair enough. So around Ratas and NEA, we're going to want to start a descent, uh, potentially prior to that, depending on what's... And uh, I'll flick on to track FPA, so then you guys will actually be able to see... Um, three degree markers and things so um, we'd basically have the belly of the, the top of the belly of the plane or the top of the fuselage of the aircraft on that 2.5 degree line there and that would be giving us a three degree glide so or the belly on the five degree point uh, but it will become a little bit clearer when we mention it. Uh, William I'm not sure actually yet let me know let me know what stands uh, would be a good combination for us and the runway that we're arriving on. There are some other features coming soon for the um, A32NX, so one of the ideas would be uh, one of the things they're actually doing is on the performance page they're reorganizing it so that the go around and approach pages actually activate and work correctly so uh, that's something to be looking out for over the next few weeks and the secondary flight plan is still in progress as well um, as is hold so very soon we hopefully will be able to get um, probably working holds and things like that I know the working title team have allowed them to use their API and their flight control manager. Some interesting wiggle going on there. Uh, yeah, you're probably right, Gaz. Uh, it was probably you. <laughs> I changed them. Um, I had to change the sensitivities a little bit on my controls, and uh, I'm not sure if that's causing the flight control issues of the rudder. Every now and again, you keep seeing them flicking around. Ian uh, Ian, yes it should um, When is it coming out? You asked a pretty good question actually now Ian uh, Monday, Tuesday I think I can't remember now, I think it's Monday that it's coming out um, I've got quite a few listed that are waiting to be released, of course. Uh, Wesley, good question. So, yeah, as Ian said there, complete your sim brief flight plan before you um, spawn in. Uh, you could do it at the same time, really, I guess. Um, 
be, give it a minute or so to feed through the server before you then import it onto the MCDU. Uh, gadget, yep. Yeah, um, a couple of months ago, I've been sort of, uh, well, I started assisting FSLTL a little bit with with just some advice, really, um, in relation to what aircraft models to use first uh, or prioritise first for the release package to help for the VATSIM side of things. Um, and to create model matching rules and things specifically for that. Um, however, AIG are also making their own package and they've decided, uh, Tawny, hello, uh, welcome, they've decided that uh, they don't want FSLTL releasing the product first because FSLTL are about two months ahead on their development really um, compared to AIG who have been struggling with um, getting it all ready. And um, AIG and VATSIM sorry, FLAI and VATSIM uh, officially started writing up loads of agreements and partnerships with FSLTL for model matching, proper model matching in VATSIM and uh, on and offline traffic as well and live traffic in the sim if you're going to just uh, fly away from VATSIM so it's going to be a one size fits all package and it was going to be exceptionally good but it included the AIG 757 model so FSLTL went to the effort and AI and FLI AI as well all were contacting AIG continuously over a period of about a month trying to get permission from them David good afternoon trying to get permission from them to use the 757 2 and 300 series models that they'd created in addition to a lot of the liveries that the AIG team had actually created for the wider FLAI package and they just did, kept ignoring it basically um, so eventually once the heat got turned up a little bit AIG surfaced and said you know what we're going to completely shut down FLAI as well because we want all of the uh, we want more fame than we're getting uh, which is quite sad really because it's uh, it's quite a toxic decision made by them for the uh, to the detriment of the wider sort of sim community Wesley, uh, good question. So effectively, if there's no ATC uh, in the area that you're flying, uh, currently for us, um, just over north of Spain, there isn't any, we would be on um, eight, uh, Unicom. So we effectively then use that channel to converse with each other, uh, listen to other aircraft position reports, and the idea of that being that, um, say for example, there's five or six of us on their way into Madrid, as there is today, we'll be able to liaise with each other and make sure that we get uh, the separation required or we'll make sure we don't both converge on the same runway at the same time basically but yeah as William's saying if there's appropriate ATC online whether it be ground, tower or a centre controller we would connect to those and if you connect to one and it's not correct uh, they will simply just tell you uh, to what channel to go to. So if you tune to the wrong frequency uh, by accident, they will just advise you to tune to another one.
Uh, long by name, that is a very good question. Uh, no, I haven't actually. Um, that's one thing I've not been able to do on Fat Sim yet. Though, something I would quite like to do actually, I think that'd be quite good. Especially if there was a yeah, parallel approach taking place as well, that'd be quite interesting. You see Terminal 1 stands around Tango 10. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Sounds like a plan. Um, what is roughly the time frame between um, the guys behind the very back and uh, my position? Does anybody, does anybody work that out? <laughs> David, yeah. I'd say we're chasing the sun, but it doesn't sound like that's the case today, does it? We've, uh, well, what we're expecting is accurate weather, so 50 centimetres of snow. Um, I think Madrid Airport is still closed, I believe. Most snow they've ever had on record in history, I think, I've read on the news today, which is uh, quite cool. So we're, we're effectively seeing if, um, if Microsoft Flight Simulator builds that in correctly. So that would be quite interesting. That would be, that would be good if they do. Although there's a few of us that doubt if it's going to actually uh, show correctly. Cost index for 25 for me. Williams 4, 40 miles away. Let's have a look. 247 for me. Oh, yes, yeah, so there's literally about 30 minutes in it. Wow. Cost index 25. I've actually on Simbri, if I actually put in a fuel factor of minus four today, I've got a company message. From Skyway 7408. <laughs> Is that Ian in Columbia? Yeah, Ian, um, Red Ian, that way, yeah, I, I do wonder. There's got to be a few. I know there's quite a few of us uh, heading over right now, so... In fairness, I've got high expectations. No barrel rolls today, please. <laughs> UKV 7408. So you can use uh, free text, uh, those of you who don't know. And then you can send that to another aircraft or who's using the A32NX. Gadget's coming up to Novan. I think Gadget, you were you were the last airborne, weren't you, I think? So yeah, so it works out about right, about 200 and 230 or so miles. If anybody reads French, let me know. You 
AL1212, uh, hello from the USA, hello, welcome, welcome to the channel, thanks for tuning in. There's still a couple of minutes delay between what you're actually seeing uh, compared to me actually replying. Uh, I think about a one minute delay roughly, so uh, if you guys type something in the chat there might be about 60 seconds before I actually... Um, Apply. Coming up to Madrid now, actually, look, as we can see. There's non 2, 80 miles. Uh, we wanted to be at flight level 150, level by non 2. The 1300 foot per minute descent is 60 miles out. So uh, we're getting close. Company message. I think this is going to be Ian again potentially. AOC received messages from Easy Two Four Whiskey. Guess who? God, there's about five five potential options. Um, let me have a little think. Guess who, guess who, guess who. I was going to maybe suggest inhuman reactions. Easy to fall whiskey. Uh, it's Will. God, there's a lot of us flying. I've just checked sim aware, and uh, we are really far away. Um, well, not too far away, but there is a lot of us on this uh, on this airway all the way in, uh, stretching back to the tip of France. So uh, Madrid is going to get very busy shortly. Non 2 is uh, about 70 miles now, isn't it? There's that 60 mile marker. We wanted 1300 foot per minute as well, uh, according to that descent calculator, so we're going to stick with that. You see, he's got an ETA 50 minutes behind you and a third last, so yeah, I think about half an hour then um, after arrive, touch down, we will all be in, I'd imagine. That's not too bad actually, bearing in mind we all took off from such a tiny airport. Coming up to non 2 now, so uh, it was 60 miles start to commence our descent and we wanted 1300 foot per minute and if I now go to heading track mode turn the flight director off we should see the actual position of the aircraft on the uh, primary flight display, which we can see there. So you can see that we actually nose down slightly and uh, our track is slightly left of our nose because we've got a not only a tailwind but one that's blowing us ever so slightly to the right of our heading. So that's how uh, track FPA looks like when it's in use. You could of course leave the flight director on as well and you get that sort of weird bug up here. So after non-2, we want to be at Orbis, flight level 140, so it'll probably be a continuous descent down at this point. We want to be um, at Tobek, which is that initial approach fix, at 5,000 feet. You see Madrid approaches online. Awesome. 11875.
Let's tune in. LEM Deatis. So we've got uh, information Sierra. It's telling us to enter destination information there, so we timed that very well. I should really look at the rest of my messages as well. Uh, Ian again. Uh, uploading now, MCDU virus. <laughs> Though you, I mean, you're saying that, and it will probably break now, out of sheer coincidence. So, uh, Madrid Adolfo Suarez, uh, ATIS information, Sierra, time 15.30 Zulu. Expect ILS Zulu approach arrival runway 32 right and 32 left. Departures on 36 right, 36 left. Previous surface condition yeah, closed due clearance in progress. Four, 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 Transition level 145. Four, Wind 070 zero, zero degrees at 4 knots. Yeah, right. one, cinco, zero, 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 Temperatures 3 degrees Celsius. G point minus 1, QNH 102. Y vea 35, copiado al estado de corrección de este de borde, de la dos izquierda. Esperando a la tercera sección de vea 35. Let's get that ready. 40 miles to non-2. Let's increase that rate of descent slightly. Yeah, so, uh, oh, Wesley, thank you very much. If that's uh, the case, that's pretty cool. Madrid aproximación, buenas tardes. I Iberia 0323 eh, a, un, a 10 millas de Prado. Iberia 0323, muy bien, respondan 4436. Respondemos lots 4, of company 4, messages 3, come 6. through now. <laughs> What have I missed? Oh, there we go, from Easy194. Guess who? Uh, that's going to be uh, Wooby Fan, I'd imagine, I guess. Actividad 0312, muy buenos contactos, la receso, 1010 QNH, 10, corrección, 10112. QNH 1012 y descendemos a 10.000 pies. Actividad 0313, espere 32 derecha. Pista 32 derecha. Mature approach, um, easy 479, inbound orbit, currently at flight level 150. EC4, 7, 9, 9, 1, as identified. Is in flight level 150, stay wrong with 3 to left. It's in flight level 150 and um, from a uh, 3-2 FTC, click on that. So the aircraft's now activated a uh, mode for constraints. The one that's flashing there, actually. 250 knots. So the aircraft's now positioning to uh, attack that. Interestingly, we are. So that descent calculator was totally wrong. So I'm going to manually intercept the speed a little bit. So I was following that descent dot now sh website. There's no way in 25 miles we're going to reach. 15, yeah, uh, Oh yeah, Wesley, don't get yourself in trouble. Also, don't get us in trouble. <laughs> uh, oh, grief. I'm not sure if we're going to make uh, Orbis flight level 140. He's got quite a strong accent, so... Uh, Eighty-seven percent of the way there, of course, as you can see in the overlay at the top. Y 
Iberia 35, nos gustaría continuar la llegada completa. Estamos probando una cosa de Laida, que si es posible continuamos por la semana 4 de Chang completa. Iberia 35, sin problema. Continuo con la publicada. If you're new to the channel, very warm welcome on board. Do click subscribe down below, and uh, if you've enjoyed the stream today, give us a thumbs up, give us a like. Tom, very good question. The livery is available on flightsim.to, so if you search uh, on their EasyJet, uh, you'll get a different selection of uh, liveries. Uh, so there's a uh, EasyJet Holidays, there's this EasyJet Europe yes, car, and uh, there's the standard EasyJet ones as well. Madrid approach, uh, good afternoon, easy 3-2 Yankee Papa with information Sierra inbound non-2 descending flight level 190 for flight level 150. Easy 3-2 Yankee Papa moving as identified, flight level 150 is the wrong way 3 to left. Uh, sorry, say again, easy 3-2 Yankee Papa. Easy 3 Yankee Papa, you are in radar contact, descend flight level 150 and step one way 3 to left. Thank you, descend flight level 150 and uh, expect runway 32 left, easy 32 Yankee Papa. Well, it doesn't look like snow, does it? Let's put uh, MSFS live weather on. ASDF Castle, uh, good question. In V Pilot settings, uh, there's a tick box on notifications, the very last one, I think it says something along the lines of... Um, it says something along the lines of... text messages displayed on simulator, uh, so make sure that's ticked. Uh, Madrid Approach, ED185 with you, uh, passing flight level 190 for flight level 150, inbound non-2. EC185, move one S, squawk four four three four. Squawk 4434 at EZ185. Yes, please, 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 Good evening, sure EZ4 is. Victor Romeo, stand 302 Airbus 320, information Sierra, IFR clearance to Paris. EZ4 Victor Romeo, we're going to flap an approach, wrong with 36 left, Robledillo to November departure, initial climb 1, 3,000 feet, this walk 4447. Okay, we're cleared by the Roman to November uh, departure, 36 left, squawk 4437, and this off is uh, 13,000, EZ4 Victor Romeo. Victor Romeo, your impact is correct. Push and start up and facing north. Report with the taxi. Face north and we'll call. For Victor Romeo. EC4, send an ILA, continue to send 5,000 feet, QNA 1012. I think send 5,000 feet, QNA 1012, QNA 1012. Let's hope for some snow, guys. Pretty sure there should be. Through a couple of layers of clouds. 250 was a speed constraint. Beyond Orbis. Wesley, um, so if you and V Pilot, if you type dot meta and then the ICAO code for the airport, it should come up um, with the local QNH. Or if you're using Unreal Weather, you can fetch it um, via that. So, a reminder for our approach, uh, coming in via non 2 at the top here. Madrid aproximación, Iberia 0323, aproximándose a los 10.000 pies. Iberia 0323, descenso para 6.000 pies. It should be on here now, but it's uh, slightly shrunk, I think, compressed. Orbis, so we'll be getting descent vectors and stuff down to Tobek 
and then for our approach in two seven left. Uh, three two left, sorry. Fire Tobek as the initial approach fix. Beyond NVS, uh, Navas Del Rey, the VOR. It's a speed of 220 knots. And uh, actually, Kurt William, yeah, very true. Uh, Ian, I'm not sure actually, it's um, all depending on work schedules. Uh, I'll, I'll try and get some scheduled um, over the next few days. So. Possibly Wednesday, um, because I'm off that day. Maybe, maybe Friday, if not. So Friday, Saturday, of course, uh, we're doing our JFK to London Heathrow long call. First Oceanic on VATSIM. So I'm hoping that goes well. 114905. For that, uh, Navasville Del Rey VOR, let's track that to 52 miles. That's a 220 knot speed constraint there, so we want to check that. Yeah, gadget settings. Notifications, and then make sure the bottom one there, show incoming tech messages in simulator. Make sure that's ticked. We've got a flight to the charts, 250 knots. Posterior Arby, autorizado ILS 32 derecha. Número 2, Iberia 0302. Let's have a look at fuel. 2300. So, still a gross over calculation there by Simbrief. Um, although, I think. We've got a diversion of Barcelona, so I guess that makes sense. Uh, Madrid radar, good afternoon. Speedbird 45 Echo Mike, stand 510, information Sierra, request that clear from London Heathrow. Lots of people loading up at uh, Madrid. Speedbird 45 Echo Mike, we will ask La Panapur runway 36 left. Sierra India, Echo 4 Lima departures in Italy, 13,000 feet, squawk 4430. Uh, one thing I do actually want Here to check is the Heathrow, elevation. Uh, Thomas Sierra 4 Lima departure, 3 to the left. Initial climb 130, uh, squawk 4430, speedbird 45 Echo Mike. 45 Echo Mike, your lead back is correct. Again, if you want to see the 12, push and start approved in South Web or Red for taxi. 1012, push and start is approved to uh, face out and call for taxi, speedbird 45 Echo Mike. So that's uh, auto, but it should change. We can change it manually there if we want to. So we could select that as a um, 2000 if we wanted to. But we would have to. Where it is now. We would have to set um, that to manual. Easy for Victor Romeo, off stand three zero two, ready for taxi information, Sierra. I can't remember where it is. Four Victor Romeo, taxi via whiskey. Who knows? Delta, I'll leave it on Romeo, auto. Holding point three six left. Automatic should work anyway. Okay, for holding point three six left. Oh, no problem. Delta and Romeo, when you get closer Victor to uh, the entry point for the star, make sure you're on uh, Madrid's approaches uh, frequency. Aproximación Madrid Iberia cero tres dos tres velocidad dos uno cero y aproximándonos a seis mil pies. Iberia 0323, está autorizado el ILS 32 derecha. Notificio establecido. Autorizado ILS 32 derecha. So next descent vector. Should be. Uh, in preparation for our approach. Multiple holds though, so. 035 is go. Tell him on, please. Just make sure I've got the approach plates up still with the charts, at least for the holds. Uh, there's three uh, holds at Burex. Uh, that's not relevant to ours. Uh, Tobek is a hold for us. And uh, Navas Del Rey uh, VOR is a hold as well. 
So there's two hold options. I'm four with you at four level one five zero. EC one four nine and we are contact this central level one five zero stay wrong with it to left. I'm hoping when we punch seconds. through this cloud, we're going to have... Three, one, four, nine, 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 radar contact, descent flight level 150, stay wrong with 3 to left. Uh, then we're going to have... Uh, Central level 150, four, 3 to left, EC-1 and 4. EC-0-3-5, uh, radar contact, descent flight level 140, stay wrong with 3 to left. Icing building up though. In its uh, unnatural way. Madrid aproximación, Iberia 0323, ABC ILS, pista 32, derecha. Iberia 0323, eh, viento 070 grados 4, derecha, autorizada. NDS, we're supposed to be a max flight level 140. Autorizada, autorizada, pista 32, derecha. So we should be getting descent further soon. Iberia 365, posterior torre, que está autorizado a borra 32, izquierda. Notificio establecido. 678 nautical mile journey for us. Y si tri, tú, Yankee, papá, dicen 5000 feet, tiene 1012. Ya está Easy 3, tú, Yankee, papá, dicen 5000 feet, QNH 1012. Descent 5000 feet, QNH 1012, easy fire, uh, 3 to Yankee, papá. Y de apres 3, 9 volt, Yankee, le dando espacio aéreo, ni con 28 bombos, chao. Yo ni con 22, 8 horas, tarde, si vería 3, y vería 3, 3, 9 volt. So, QNH, set, 5000, we'll do 1500 foot per minute, uh, for now. There's that speed constraint to 220 as well at Navas del Rey, dead ahead of us. We can track that. Y de apres 3, corte de nivel 3 y 5, reduzca 1, 9, 0, 2. Using the VOR pages, or anything. Chari de Moss, hello, welcome. <laughs> Those of you just tuning in, a very warm. Four five echo mic request. Welcome taxi. to the channel. Seabird four five echo mic taxi echo alpha golf Zulu three run with three six left. We're well into our descent now into Madrid. Taxi, echo alpha golf Zulu three offshore three six left. Seabird four five echo mic. <laughs> Mr. B stack. <laughs> uh, well, well, nice. Um, yeah, so. <laughs> We're into our descent into Madrid, and uh, we've got Vat Sim on, of course. Uh, we've got about seven or eight guys, uh, subscribers, that are actually flying with us today as well, which is awesome. And uh, everybody watching, you're always more than welcome to join me on on trips, as uh, the regular subscribers and viewers uh, know. Be sure to check out the memberships tab as well. We've got a new uh, memberships feature on uh, on the channel now. You can join us as a bronze, silver, or gold status frequent flyer on the channel, and unlock uh, special perks. And uh, as Gadget's saying there as well, if you're enjoying today's video, do click the like button down below as well. Charlie de Moss, yeah, missed the beginning. Um, yeah, have a little look later on. Hopefully you, uh, you'll uh, catch all of that. We're hoping that when we go through the snow, uh, through the cloud here, we're going to see um, all of the snow. Um, they've had in Madrid. Apparently they've had uh, 50 centimetres of snow, the most on, on record or something like that. So we're about to see if Microsoft Flight Simulator builds that incorrectly or not. New boy, uh, there is a way. Um, you can actually use a tool called ChartFox. So ChartFox.org. And you can get loads of... Iberia 6400 with you. Charts that way for free. Um, or on our Discord server, we've got a Meta Charts channel. And you can request uh, the charts there. Most of those are uh, Jefferson charts, so they're quite good as well. Uh, they're obviously free to use. Let's go half speed break. Navas del Rey. Coming up. 
Ascend altitude 6,000 feet, QNH 1012, expecting ILS. Let's hope for some snow down below. Iberia 6400. Using some speed brake to keep that speed down a bit. 185 descend 5,000 feet, QNH 1012. I think we're all spaced quite nicely above, guys. 1012, Every Q -Q -Zero three five descend six thousand feet. Can you one one two? A couple of minutes uh, between each of us there, which is uh, pretty good, I think. So through the cloud. I hope there's snow. Six zero three five. Uh, one able speed two three zero knots. One able. Reduce the speed to two three zero knots. SP Bird 45 Echo Mike, ready for departure. Let's do 210. With our rate of descent, that should keep us at 220 knots that way. Should do 4. Once we start to reduce our speed break action. 45 Echo Mike, we 070 degrees for knots. 360 left, take off. Speed break for us. Low 10,000, so we should have lights on. See what signs are already on. We'll leave the icing on for the time being. Easy 479 after Tobek, you are clear with our approach. Brakes low, uh, let's bring up the brake low, low arms. Tobek, uh, Tobek, uh, Tobek, we can see the uh, bird in action there, guys. With a new track FPA function. Established in the course of the final, the top of the year of the campo, Iberia 365. 365, vento 070 grados, 4-2-2-3-2-0, desde Sometimes that they can give us a uh, track instead of a heading, and that's where track FPA really comes in handy for us. Let's get uh, Unreal Weather back on, shall we? We'll give it a minute, there's clearly no snow. Give it a minute to feed the latest weather in. Oh, there we go. So this should be Mar Madrid Barajas. Easy uh, four, Victor Romeo behind departing traffic. Line up on way two. Get tough air base. Close enough. Stay behind departing traffic. Line up uh, three six left behind. Easy four, Victor Romeo. Chiridimos. Yeah, I completely four, agree. Four seven nine. I just took a few minutes. Um, it tends to just three two left the police station. Blanket absolutely everything, doesn't it? Yeah, I think guys, we're going to get some. Uh, independent parallel approaches going on here today, which is going to be pretty cool. EC 479 after Tobek, you are clear. I suppose, three to left, report established. That's the first one in. Uh, sorry, uh, yeah, Roger, after Tobek, no dial left, three to left, uh, report established, EC 479. EC 194, descend, 7,000 feet, can you 1012? EC 194, descend 7,000 feet, can you 1012? We'll leave that 10,000 foot per minute and we can get rid of the speed brake slightly. Let's arm that preparing for the arrival. There's our ILS frequencies and everything ready to go. Radnav page is complete. So let's uh, arm approach phase. Yeah, 6400 left on 060. Wesley, yep, approach mode does work in VATSIM. Iberia 6400 left on heading 060 degrees. Apologies, 060 Iberia 6400. And uh, we'll hold that 220 knots uh, for that speed constraint on the charts, folks. Speed 45 Echo Mike, you are in radar contact, continue climb flight level 240. Continue climb 240, speed bird 45 Echo Mike. And this is four five eight. Come you wish, you can proceed to it. Edigo, Edigo Delta India Golf, Oscar. Uh, direct to Edigo, Speaker four five eight. Come on, thanks. Madrid approach. Good afternoon. East eight two seven at flight level one five zero. Uh, my advice, guys, would be to get the taxi routing charts out ready. Flight level one five zero. Flight level one five zero and expecting runway three two left. Easy eight two seven. So level at five thousand. Q and H is set. 
approach phase is activated. Uh, we've got 220 knots. We've got. Uh, Wesley, is it possible to get rid of the white tips on Microsoft Flight Simulator like press F5 to retract it flaps? Uh, yeah, there's uh, literally just a tick box setting in uh, assistance, I think it is, in the assistance menu. Uh, as Gadget just, just said there. Um, you can just click that. Just a quick tick box. There's so many of us flying. 194, speed 210. Uh, Niels, uh, thank you very much. Buenos días, Madrid. Iberia 0323, motores apagados y damos por finalizado el plan de vuelo. Muchísimas gracias por su servicio. Iberia 0323, bienvenido a Madrid. Se cambia su cuenta por Chao. Easy 6035, maintain 6000 feet, please. Uh, sorry, apologies, I'm in speed. Uh, I'm going a little bit slower if it helps out spacing. AC6035, speed 210 knots, please, for safety. 210 knots, uh, easy 6035. Right, feed for viewers, yeah, Wesley, yeah, it's great. Um, just checking a few bits on the charts, ready. Uh, so, Graham behind us can actually apparently see uh, loads of snow. Uh, we've got snow depth apparently of 52.7 centimetres. So uh, I think we're going to go through the snow, uh, through the cloud here and find. Uh, I think we're going to get what we're hoping to see. We're going to see all this crazy weather they've experienced in Spain. So stay tuned. Make sure you click like. If you're new, click subscribe, join us in the Freedom Fly. You can support the stream in multiple ways as well. You can uh, donate uh, via the Streamlabs link, uh, or you can do the super chat and get your announcement popped up on the live chat and read out uh, for everybody to see and hear. And uh, also, you can now um, get channel memberships, uh, which are new. And uh, I'm always happy to get feedback for those. So if there's anything extra you guys want to see for a particular membership level, then let me know and I can uh, I can review it. Through the cloud, we should be getting further descent shortly. Um, there's that terrain getting built in. Lovely, the blanket of cloud is like a tease for the snow underneath. We, we've not yet properly seen it. Uh, four with ski, we were to be quite excited. I'm looking forward to this. Expecting runway 3 2 left, easy 2 4 ski. Quite a strong crosswind now. So you can see uh, that diamond. Uh, that's not right. Uh, so I'm going to have to manually select this. We want track of 100. So in track of PA mode, track of 100 will make sure that that diamond for our track is actually on the line. After Tobeka cleared ILS uh, 32 left uh, report when established, easy 3 to Yankee Papa. So you can see here, the track will make us uh, 097. That's going to get that blue arrow against the diamond. That's our track mode. And that's uh, where the bird is heading going. Heading 152, speed on it at uh, easy 185. If we had heading mode on, then that blue arrow would line up with the yellow line, because that's our heading instead. So we'd have to then factor in the wind Is that a uh, turn left 060 for easy 32 Yankee Papa? Easy 
Siberia 6400, speak 180. 180, Iberia 6400. I think it could be a particularly big shortcut here, so let me just re review the charts. So we want to be on a glide slope at 4000. Iberia 6400, left on 0 to 0. Left 0 to 0, speed 180, Iberia 6400. PDT, 5000, descent to 6.2 DME, MAA, uh, 4000 as constraint there. And he's cleared us to Tobek and then an ILS approach, uh, but then he's obviously changed his mind and told us to go left to 060 degrees, but that's fine. Sean, hi, yeah. Not just yet, I don't I, I don't think uh, two yet. Uh, Speedbird 45 Echo Mike approaching flight level 240. Just keeping an eye on these systems as we uh, go through. Contact final 127.1. Contact final 127.1, freezing. Speedbird 45 Echo Mike approaching flight level 240. Speedbird 45 Echo Mike approaching flight level 240. Uh, Unicorn 122. Oh, we've got a new approach controller online. 122.5, Final approach. 127.1. Baraha approach, uh, good afternoon, easy 32 Yankee Papa, uh, heading 060 degrees uh, inbound for the ILS. 32 left. Easy 32 Yankee Papa, move on us. H1012, expect a final vector in uh, about two miles. Expect finals, uh, late turn, two miles, uh, east 32, Yankee Papa. So uh, now it sounds like we're not even clear to the ILS. Major approach. Iberia 6400 with you 6000 heading. Zero, two, zero. It's going to be quite tight. Yeah, yeah, six four zero zero. Muy buenas. Please confirm your runway. The beer six four zero zero three two left. Uh, Sean, sure, definitely uh, we'll be considering it in the future though. Once 5, Discord gets a little bit busier and uh, the live chat comes a bit busier. Three two yang top turn left heading three five zero clear ILS approach runway three two left. Turn left three five zero and clear ILS uh, runway three two left. Easy three two Yankee Papa. We're below the glide slope. There's the diamonds. We know we want a three degree glide slope for the ILS, so this is where track FBA could come in quite well for us. Easy 6035, move one as well, is the main thing present heading, uh, confirm runway. Maintain present heading of um, 108. Um, we're easy hopefully going to see the snow down below once we break through this cloud. Easy 6035, correct then, uh, can you please come from your runway? Here we go. Runway left. Wait for the uh, lateral easy guidance easy diamonds easy to easy start easy. a shift. Then the magenta right line moves. We're at the approach phase. Down the QNH1012. QNH1012 and expecting vectors for um, 32 left, easy 6035. 10 miles. Iberia 6400, turn right heading 055. 055, Iberia 6400. Let's activate approach phase now, shall we? That's that mo line moving, so that's timed real well. Gadget, yeah, I don't think he expected too much traffic. That's um, it's always good for us, isn't it? Lock mode set uh, green. It's activated, captured, so it suggests that we are on the localizer. Uh, yep, uh, we did explain the bird at the start of the stream, but uh, I could do it again. So we're going to be having a three degree glide slope, but we're capturing that now. I video 6400, the center maintain 4000. And you can see there and that line for the wings. Uh, three Is it three degrees? So that's 2.5, 3. Four thousand. Three. Three. Uh, three degrees, uh, zero, three, zero, three, four degrees, clear ILS, three, two, left. Three, We've got quite a strong crosswind. Easy 3 2 Yankee Papa's established, 3 2 left. Z32 Yankee Papa contact Madrid on 118.750, see ya. Contact Madrid 118.750, see ya. Uh, easy 32 Yankee Papa. Back to another one.
Madrid approach, easy 3 2 Yankee Papa. Hello, uh, established on the ILS uh, and on the glide, 3 2 left. Easy 3 2 Yankee Papa, wind 0 7 0 3 2 4 knots, 3 2 left, clear to land. 3 2 left, clear to land, easy 3 2 Yankee Papa. There's the snow, guys, wow, look at that. Approach 4 7 on the back, uh, yeah, we're sorry, we're requesting parking and taxi to gates. Yeah, we're cruising. Easy 4 7 on the back, the runway, so visual. Parking. No blue on the ECAM MOs. Uh, you can see there we've got a nice three degree glide Easy slope on the bird. Alpha to the south, gate so that's how track FPA works, but for the landing we don't want track FPA. We need flight directors. Don't use, uh, don't use the bird to land guys. Uh, Outer marker. God guys look at this. This is absolutely stunning isn't it? Let me try and get an external drone cam. Just gonna get a quick screenshot for the Discord server. Motorway down below. Gears down, spoilers are full. Uh equals have another sorry, what was the uh stand again? We need three thousand. Four seven in a taxi, alpha to the south. Taxi Gate. routings. Four Missed approach altitude, 5,000 set okay, ready, and, uh, two and approaching 1,000 foot. One thousand. There's uh, quite a haze Final coming in now though, I was just going to go manual control line. but we're losing visual yes, so I'm going to keep it in for longer. Three to left, you will be number two, your president is uh, five miles height. Cat 3 single ILS. Number two, proceeding there behind the rain. traffic, Iberia 6400. Well, weather's really bad today. You see 827, contact control. final 127 decimal 1. Two red, two white puppies. Uh, we're eight, eight, on the glide seven. slope nicely there. And we're keeping that uh, it's 800 Madrid, foot per minute roughly. Slight crosswind. Yeah, big Alex, yeah, it is um, auto gen buildings, unfortunately. I've actually got a 5 knot tailwind. Yeah, all of a sudden, so that's not helping us, and uh, that is bumpy. Richard, DC24, whiskey requesting further descent, if possible. Easy for two whiskey descent, 5,000 feet, security 1012. Sorry, sir, again for easy 24 whiskey. 24 whiskey descent, 5,000 feet, security 1012. Descent 5,000 feet, security 1012, easy 24 whiskey. A little bit of rudder work there for touchdown. There's one of the guys down already. One eight five contra final one two seven decimal one. So we're down. One two seven decimal one. You see one eight five. Absolutely no idea what taxiway we're on. Easy three to Yankee Papa runway vacated. Three to Yankee Papa runway some parking. Uh, no preference. Uh, terminal one. Easy three to Yankee Papa taxi the Alpha to the south gate four. It's time to eight. Uh, taxi by Alpha South and uh, to Romeo four for gate two eight. So easy three to Yankee Papa. Pretty sure that's wrong. Yeah, wow. Bespoke. Uh, well, I've never seen weather like this in. Uh, Never ever seen weather like this in Madrid. There's one of the guys down. Oh, and Iberia. Wow. 
Just trying to find stand 28. Ibera 640, ¿requiere algún parking? Ibera 640, ¿requiere algún parking? Ok, there's 24. 332 left on Lima 5. Ibera 640, ¿requiere algún parking? Terminal 4, Sierra for Iberia 64. Ibera 640, ¿con quién es el taxi? Alfa, Golf 5, Mike to the north. And. Mike, uh, 24, 24, stand 560. Oh, I love this guy. Oh, I, think, I think we're going this Mike way. to the north, stand uh, 25, I'd be a 640. No, that's India. We don't want that one. 3400, stand 560. <laughs> Thank goodness for the taxi stand signs, guys. 560, I'd be a 640. Even Navigraph hasn't got moving maps. Would you um, islet uh, establish runway 22 left? Zero, correction, this is six, zero, three, five, wind, uh, zero, seven, zero, three, four knots. Where's all the snow gone? Clear plan, sir, three, two, left, easy, six, zero, three, five. Madrid approach, easy, three, two, one. Should be like that. It was when we landed. Three, two, one, descent, correction, five, thousand feet, scaling, one, three, one, two. Bizarre, isn't it? Flight level, five, thousand. Independent parallel approach is going on there, guys. Look at that. Easy, two, four. Whiskey, a contact final one to one. Correction one two seven decimal one. Uh, final one one two seven decimal one. Easy two four whiskey ninety seven. Easy two four whiskey ninety seven. Good evening, Madrid approach. Easy one nine four establish my left bridge right. Easy one nine four continue approach three two right wind zero seven zero three four. Uh, have I gone wrong? Uh, it's Tango 24 is against the big bit at the top, so yeah, went wrong. We should be up here. Whoopsie whoopsie. The controller's probably thinking, what the hell are they doing? Well, I can see a taxi line there. Romeo 2 and taxi routings. No parking stands. Terminal 20, uh, T24 via India 9, which is this one. I was hoping to get a load of you guys recorded. Easy 1, Mena 4, wind 0, 7, 0, 3, 3, 4 knots, 3, 2, red, Skladan. Well, the snow's back Runner anyway, guys. Hope you bleed. Stand 24's here. And I'm going to get uh, a lot of you guys landing. landing on the stream, if I can, in the drone cam. <laughs> not, not shambles, mate. Yeah, we'll be, I, I can't. He's told us uh, stand 28. Which, uh, annoyingly, is actually one of these. Uh, it's right at the end, actually. So, we've got a taxi round this bit. Good grief, haven't we? We're going right round here, right round the houses. Davis, yeah, but it's on tour. Uh, stand 28 is what I've written down. I think I kept saying 24, didn't I? Stand 24 was this one here on the left. But uh, stand 28 is one of these. Good grief. We'll get there. Giving you a magical mystery tour, aren't I? There's uh, Graham down on the grounds. Madrid approach, uh, easy 185 with you for the established 32 left. Easy 185, continue approach, 32 left. Number 2. Continue approach number 2, easy 185. This one, I believe. Easy 6035, continue taxi uh, alpha to the south. 2930, yeah, that makes sense. Stand 27. Although, weirdly, <laughs> I can't see the actual taxi lines in the snow. I think there, there's a taxi line. Oddly enough, these don't line up. Easy 6035, taxi alpha to the south, gate 4, stand 27. Uh, 
seven via Alpha to South um, and uh, four for Easy to Territory Belt. There we go. So I think he's queuing a load of us guys together, which is quite cool. Taxi lights off, runway turn lights off. So Graham's down. In human reactions is all the way over there. Some of the other guys flying in, you can see in the distance. Engine two. Let's recycle that transponder, get that off. Engine one. Here comes the uh, sim bit. Turn beacon off. If you want it, five wind. Manuals do not deliver less Cleveland. Cut one, three, two, left, easy, one, eight, five. Let's get that air bridge connected. Catering and so on. Where's the weather gone again? This is the problem with. Uh, let's force that back in again. Is it the one contact uh, final one two seven decimal one? That's the real frustrating thing actually with the sim when it does uh, the updates. There's Graham just taxiing off. The one contact final one two seven decimal one. There's one of the guys on finals. There's in human reactions, he's been parked over in the far end, in the naughty corner. Easy 149, a continue taxi, Kilo Alpha, Alpha to the south, gate 4, stand 26. Oh good, he's actually parking us all next to each other, except for where in human reactions has gone, so... Uh, was that for you to be 194 or 149er? 194 or? 149er. 194 requesting taxi. 149er, continue taxi kilo alpha, alpha to the south, gate 4, stand 26. Five still in the air, David Rice. That's awesome, that's crazy. I should have done a little circuit actually. A little work, magical mystery tour of Madrid. Alpha, Alpha Golf 4. So I think, stand. not sure, I've lost track of who's who now. Is that William that's landed? Stand who's joined us? Easy one nine four. And uh, one of the guys is <laughs> over there as well, 3 2 right. They did a parallel landing together, which is pretty cool. So he's got a taxi all the way around the airport, past where that Dreamliner is, which was an Iberia a minute ago, and now it's wiped itself to a Sobo, oddly. Um, and then we're all getting stacked up next to each other here, which is quite cool. Yeah, G gate four G185 turns out is that the little link there. The so gate Madrid four is that gate two four five. is actually a, like a link, as we would call it in the UK. So Alpha link fifty four at Heathrow, for example. Four, stand two five, for here it would be gate fifty four, stand two, whatever. A um, little bit odd, but um, you could always. Um, you could always uh, eight, two, seven, drop out and then respawn. What are they? Ugh, polygons. Disgusting. So there's one of the guys. Um, <laughs> he's got such a far, long way to taxi. Wow. Who else have we got coming in then? Um, as uh, the sim seems to be wiping off the weather again. Four left to come in. Who's uh, who had joined us on the way today, which is really cool. Thank you to all of you that have uh, joined us. Madrid approach, uh, easy two seven, fully established on. What three I could do is hide the overlay for you guys now. Easy eight two seven, wind variable two knots, three two left, clear to land. Clear to land, three two left, easy eight two seven. Who's that? I've lost track. Let's try and catch him landing properly, shall we? So let's uh, quicken up the uh, drone cam quick time. Nice of a Sobo to place a random windsock there. I'm not sure if that should be the case. UC's turning finals as well. I love how this has turned into an ad hoc uh, airliner group flight. EasyJet taking over Madrid. Ruby, nice. Uh, good work. I'm guessing that's you that, that's uh, you taxing all the way from 3-2 right. 
Uh, where have you gone? There you are. <laughs> There's Graham and that. I'll try and get a group shot once we're all in. I'll try and get us all uh, photographed together. Um, we should have a few more coming in. Uh, There we go. So he's uh, sent us a little message there saying that he's cancelled our flight plan for us. That snow seems to be uh, re clearing itself bizarrely. Let's get that back to 50. It's supposed to be 50 centimetres of snow, so let's set that. UC is. Uh, I think that must be UC then. In he comes. Oh, bad! I so bad at drone camera. Let's see. Where's he? Where's he going to touch down? There's three of us guys parked up. You see, nicely done. There's Wooby. All the way. <laughs> All the way down there. Oh. Worth it for the uh, parallel approach, though. I hope you guys got some great shots of that. Look at us all that parked up. That's awesome. He's just owning it. Ian, I'm not sure. Bristol is a fantastic place to live as well. Lived there for nine months and absolutely loved it. Um, one of my favourite places in the world, I would say. Or well, one of the my favourite places in the UK, actually. In the world is really stretching it. In human reactions, yeah, no problem. I, I think he should be okay. There's absolutely no one else on the ground. Eight two seven continue taxi Alpha to the south. Gate four is done to five. There we are. He's literally parking us all next to each other, which is pretty cool. Uh, taxi Alpha to south. Who else have we got coming the down then? You see, eight two seven Alpha to the south. Gate four is done to five. Who else are we missing? Gate four is done to five. Or easy eight two seven. Love the fact he was doing a uh, simultaneous landing. So we've got an Iberian coming in next, David. Thank you. Uh, easy three two one and easy two four uh, twenty four whiskey. That's Will. Uh, let's so wait for those two to park. We've got uh, an Iberia flying in who's going to taxi away somewhere. We've got Will and that as well. In fact, there's one on finals. Ooh, I could just see landing lights in the distance. Just there. So I suppose it all depends on how far away they are as well. Um, they should be well into the star now though. Awesome weather. Madrid's a great one in the sim. Look at us all parked up, that's awesome. And then uh, we'll be down the bottom there, catching up, coming to join us too. We're going to fill up all of Terminal 3, I think. Graham, who's uh, in the middle somewhere, he's uh, going to do the return to Bristol. So if those of you wanted to stay online at the end of the stream, you could uh, fly back to Bristol with Graham. Good. Hello again. Easy 24 whiskeys established. William. On the localizer for runway 3 to left. 
There's the Iberia. Look at that. So he's a little bit further ahead, of course. There's the Iberia flight there, and then there's Will on the right hand side. So 3 2 left and 3 2 right in use. It's going to be about 60 seconds apart, I think, by the looks of it, between the two landings. I love how you zoom out and it, it looks like it's gone back to the um, a Sobo. You can see the blue tail. You zoom in and all of a sudden it's a Iberia Dreamliner again. Uh, will you be, unfortunately today I've not got the time to fly back to uh, Gatwick or anywhere. Um, Graham is uh, flying back to Bristol. Um, so I guess you guys could all fly back roughly. It would be the same route and then you'd split off for the different arrivals uh, down by Exmoor down or by Devon so that could be quite a cool little uh, group return for you guys uh, after the stream. Stand 3-0 for you. Stand 3-0 for EC-19 for Stand 3-0 for EC-19 for EC-19 for EC-19 for There's Will a couple of minutes behind still just keeping track on who's where and uh, the Siberia flight here I'm not sure if it's um, any of us guys Easy to four whiskey wind, but able to not three to left that land. Clear to land, easy to four whiskey. Ooh, that's a horrible smear on the front of that Iberia, but if it helps performance, I guess it helps performance. So he's down. Let's go and check Will. Let's get Will's landing on camp. And uh, who else is uh, who else is waiting? There was one behind Will, wasn't there? Was it uh, Gadget? I think was flying behind Will. Was that correct? And then one big flappy boy is somewhere in the distance. I'm not too far how far away he is. Came from Palmer. Nice. Good grief. A lot of people on that for a Dreamliner. Over the next few weeks, I'm going to be doing a flight to Ajaccio uh, for their difficult circle to land procedure. So I'm going to try and do quite a few different circle to lands uh, across the world uh, if I can. Um, somebody else has re requested a flight to Tonkontin. So, uh, whoa, we're going to be doing that. This is unreal weather refreshing. This is one of the biggest issues, really, because it's... Uh, it will pull in the meta, but then it will take 10 minutes to reload it. So I can press that button to refeed it, but then it still doesn't show snow correct. So it's weird because it refreshed it a minute ago and it worked absolutely fine. Oh, there's uh, there's gadget in the distance by the looks of it. You could just see a white light, a nav light. Here comes Will. Welcome to Chile, Madrid. If you guys are new to the channel and you're just tuning in for the first uh, first time, then uh, you could always do what these guys are doing today and join me, join the stream for the route. Um, I try and get it scheduled if I can. Um, so as we saw today, it's about six or seven guys have uh, joined us today to fly from Bristol to um, Madrid. I can't remember if Fierro said he was going to fly from Gatwick as well, so there might be another one somewhere, but I'm not quite sure where, if he's uh, joining us today or not. Nicely done, Will. Pro. Look at look at the terminal now. That's madness. So we got uh, Will taxiing in, and we got another one. <laughs> that is good. I love that. Um, so we've got one more coming in. Gadget in the distance somewhere, trying to spot him. And then we'll get that group photo. That's crazy. I love that. 
If there's any routes that you guys want to see over the next few weeks, let me know. We can tally it up and get a stream scheduled for it. Um, likely I'll be doing one on Friday. On Saturday, you're more than welcome as well as always to join me for the JFK to Heathrow that a few of you have requested. And uh, I'll be checking out the latest Salty Simulations mod as well. Easy to follow if you continue taxi uh, Lima 7 Alpha to the south. With uh, the very latest updates from them. Think Simbrief. Um, that's all I can, I'm going to say at the minute. Um, if it's working in time properly. So we'll be testing all of those latest features and uh, flying across the Atlantic on my first ever oceanic trip. So you guys can either join us in a 747 or Dreamliner or whatever else. Or an A320 as well because the, the Neo obviously can make it across the Atlantic. Uh, so feel free to join me in that if you wish. And uh, yeah, William's got his taxi instructions there to go uh, left and uh, pretty much join us at stand 24, which is the very left stand over here. Yeah, six people. It's pretty cool. And there's uh, there's another one or two on in the air still, I think. Um, pretty sure of it. Have a little look on Simaware while we, we've got while we catch it. We're all taxiing in. <laughs> look, look at that. It's crazy. I'd never thought I'd do a stream and see uh, and see that. Well, to be fair, I'd never thought I'd see a snowy Madrid. So uh, yeah, we've got uh, gadget on final approach actually now. Easy three, two, one. Oh, Flappy boy is about 20, 30 minutes away. Still, so we won't be able to wait for him. Unicometido hasta Chomusa, gracias por el control. Buenas tardes. Voy a hacer el 720. Está todo eso. That might be uh, inhuman reactions because it went to the wrong spawned again. Oh dear, there's a go around. Didn't hear him on the channel. Madrid approach, uh, easy three to one, declare miss approach. There we go. Easy three to one, climb 5,000 feet and left on heading 350. Three 5,000 feet, 350, uh, easy three to one. Madrid, sorry about that, my aircraft seemed to. Disconnect me from the frequency, I've located the runway and request a taxi to stand. Heat 24, we see taxi by the left, uh, to Alpha, to the south. <laughs> He's just buzzing the tower. Gate 4, <laughs> stand 24. Going full top gun there. Taxi to the left by Alpha. He's uh, buzzing past. Let's see if I can try and catch and him with a, and in the group four, photo. Whiskey. How can I do this nice and quick? Go, 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 go. Come on, there he is. Where's Will? There he is, says Will. Let's try and get everybody in. <laughs> oh. I bet the tower control is loving us. So wait for Will to park up. Hopefully by then, uh, gadgets... Uh <laughs> gadgets... Uh Gotta sort himself out with his missed approach uh, once he's finished buzzing the tower. Don't even know where he's gone now. There he is. <laughs> Love it. He is. He's gone full Tom Cruise there. So off he goes on the missed approach, and uh, he'll probably get vectored left and left again. If you do one continue plan, 5,000 feet, then it wants it one three. Continue climb I imagine at some point Graham will be pushing back from the gate. 
gadgets getting vectored. Left turn 250, uh, easy 3 to 1. So, as, um, as you guys are hearing, that's usually what will happen when you declare a missed approach. They'll give you vectors and things like that, so they'll tell you uh, what heading to go to and things like that. But always look at the charts and uh, have a bit of an idea of what to do for the procedure itself. Um, because depending on what runway you're using, the procedure might be slightly different. Oh, going full tilt. Uh, but it'll basically be vectored back to final approach, and it'll be landing again in about two or three minutes. So we'll be yeah, it was uh, it was a lot of fun. Uh, it's always good when you guys will tune in and and fly as well at the same time. Always enjoyable. I mean that's crazy busy for us. Uh, that's cool. Just waiting for the uh, sim to change the weather again and drop off all this snow. Every stream so far has ended up almost uh, turning into a uh, ad hoc group flight, which is quite cool. That's it, gadget. Yeah. Sorry, oh, no. easy two four whiskey. Which one is stand two four? Keep going, Will. Easy two four whiskey. Continue taxi straight ahead via India, and the stand two four is on your right. Continuing on India, at stand two four on the right. Easy two four whiskey. There you go. That's uh, stand twenty four all the way down the right, down the end. And uh, it's there. That's just done 24, Will. Pete, hello, welcome. Yeah, you just joined us at the end of the stream. Um, we've basically um, departed UK 2000's Bristol Airport scenery. Uh, all of these guys here jumped in as well, logged into Vatsim and flew with us, which was awesome. And uh, we're just waiting on one more to land. He uh, declared a missed approach, so he's up here somewhere getting vectored back around um, for another go. And uh, we're just going to get a group group shot. One of the aircraft, uh, I think the one on the far... the one left on here, 150 degrees. I think the one on the left here, on the right hand side, sorry, is uh, going to be turning around and going back to Bristol. If you guys are new to the channel, then do check out uh, the new memberships um, packages that are now available as well. And... Uh, let me know what you think of those, or if you uh, want any particular perks or anything for those. And uh, if you are brand new to the channel, welcome aboard, and do click that subscribe button as well while you're here. Uh, join us as a frequent flyer. Head to our Discord server as well, and that's where most of our stream information comes up as well, uh, over time. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, Pete, the um, Bristol Airport scenery is fantastic on the UK 2000. What I will say, actually, for that is um, if you look at virtual airlines, they tend to have 20 to 30% discount codes for UK 2000 scenery. Um, so have a little look about to see what you might be able to achieve there. Look at that, that's crazy. It says Will parked up. That is the best screenshot I ever thought I'd get. And then uh, we're waiting for Gadget to come in as well. Um, he was last out of the uh, the band for departures from Bristol, of course. He's up here somewhere, through the cloud. Uh, but yeah, uh, Pete, no problem at all. Um, Ground. This is easy 6036 back with you at stand 27 Flight Bay 320 Neo with information Tango requesting IFR clearance to Bristol as filed. Easy 6036, nice. uh, flight plan approved Bristol runway 36 left, Sierra India Echo 1 Tango departure, initial climb 1321 is downwind. Work 4423. I think he's uh, in the clouds somewhere for us. But we'll see him come through shortly. 
Yeah, as David's saying, uh, we've got uh, Madrid radar and Madrid approach online now, so uh, anybody who is flying back, you're going to get ATC through most of Spain. Well, I'm glad you enjoyed it. It was very enjoyable, actually, it was good. Over the next few weeks, I'm going to be focusing on trying to re-record my go-arounds tutorial. Um, it was one of the few uh, from a couple of months ago that had some significant sound issues, um, where I was very echoey and things. So, um, what I will be doing over the next few weeks, months, I'm going to be looking at those and re-recording them so that they're clearer and they're better as well, of course. Additionally, I've been asked by Fly UK to produce some training videos just for them. Um, so I'm going to be sorting some Fly UK style tutorials out uh, as well using their livery. Uh, but we're all, no pressure gadget, we're all waiting for you. <laughs> He's still, still getting vectors. It's good for everyone else to hear, I guess, as well. Um, let's go to our Discord server. Fierro's put a, uh, about an hour ago, he put a link on there uh, showing the Euro control, I think, or VAT scan, with all of us flying in. That's pretty cool. Um, and I'm going to stick some of the screenshots into uh, our screenshots channel. All meter, that's a wicked screenshot there. Uh, where's where's the ones I've just taken? We're about to spam the channel with uh, loads of uh, PNGs. There you go. There's five screenshots from me there on the Discord server. Just getting uploaded. It's interesting, actually. Um, there's uh, somebody on the Discord server saying that they uh, they've got the same setup as myself, the Thrustmaster T Flight Hotas X full flight kit. Uh, which is complete with the rudder pedals as well. If you did one descent, four thousand five hundred feet. And uh, I found that actually I'm one. getting all sorts of rudder issues with it, uh, where we don't get the same. Um, we get lots of issues, don't we, uh, with rudder pedals that keep flicking left and right all the time. Uh, so I'm not really sure what's going on with that. Uh, Astro, welcome. Uh, fellow Fly UK pilot as well, that's awesome. Um, probably one of the best virtual airlines available for people to join actually in the sim I think. Um, gone back years and years and years of course. Loads of routes um, for the A320 as well for us folks on Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. If you did one left on hitting zero one five clear high left approach three to left. Report and gadgets uh, completed as missed approach. Left uh, zero one five uh, report established on three two left. Uh, and he's uh, going to be on the ILS shortly. One big flappy boy's on the way in as well. Uh, although I'm not sure how far away he is, so if somebody could estimate that, that would be great. I've got a gadget, a screenshot of gadget overflying the terminal with a, with his little buzz the tower, missed approach thing that he did as well. Uh, some screenshots of Will landing and stuff like that as well, which is quite cool.
It's odd the snow seems to have stuck again this time. Going to start me descent. <laughs> uh, that still doesn't tell us how far away you are. It could be 15, 20, 30 minutes. And uh, we've got Gadget on finals. Easy 3 to 1, uh, aisle established, uh, runway 3 to left. Easy 3 to 1, wind 0, 8, 0 to 3 knots, 3 to left, left land. Get to land, easy 3 to 1. So it's a, it's, it was a crosswind, but it's a, a slight tailwind as well, so I'll not really sure how I feel about the uh, the runway being in use. And uh, here he comes. Quite a few people tuning in. I can see uh, very warm welcome to uh, those of you who are new. You can uh, always join us on live streams as uh, folks have done today, and have a little community flight and get on Vatsim. I'll be looking to do some coverage on uh, updates to the Luke Air tool as well that's been developed. Um, they've got their PAX sim and things like that created as well, which is quite cool. Uh, but also they um, they do the cabin announcements and everything for us as well um, with, a, with a great little app. So uh, I'll be talking a bit more about that over the time. And uh, over the next few weeks, I've heard potentially the CRJ might... Um, might, in capital letters... And italics um, be getting uh, released, which would be really cool. Um, so I'll be bringing you guys content with that, of course, as well. And I'll be looking to develop some packages for tutorials on how to uh, use it, fly it, uh, etc. William saying that uh, check screenshots. Uh, will shortly. I'll just catch. Gadget landing. Pete, um, occasionally we do um, group flights on uh, the multiplayer server. Um, so when we do that, um, you're more than welcome to join us for that. And normally for milestone targets. Um, but simultaneously, if you if you want to get onto Vatsim, then uh, you can feel free to join us on there. Um, you're always more than welcome. If you look through the tutorials and things, if there's something you're not sure about, you can always ask any of us, and we can uh, we can get all that started for you. We've literally filled up a pier, and uh, one big flappy boy is saying he's started his descent. Graham's waiting to depart, of course, uh, going back to Bristol. So uh, if anyone else is going to join him, let me know, and I can uh, drop him a message on. WhatsApp. Check the uh, screenshots page in the Discord as well, because that's uh, got loads of screenshots from today's Gate flight on there, which is pretty awesome. Uh, sorry, can you repeat that again? Three to one. Taxi Alpha to the south. Gate Goal Four. Stand twenty three. Taxi Alpha to the south. Uh, stand twenty three. Uh, 50 centimetres of snow in Madrid at the moment, apparently. Never thought I'd see it. Uh, one big flappy boy, I'm not sure where you are, so it's it's all dependent on um, it's all dependent on your actual location, really. Um, you should be on Madrid radar. Although, uh, where are you? Easy four five four. Yeah, you, you should be contacting Madrid Approach um, one one eight decimal seven five zero. So uh, give him a call. Um, you are very high though, thirty five thousand feet still. So I'm not sure if that's going to work. Yeah. <laughs> 
Kawa, I'm probably saying your name wrong. Let me know uh, how to pronounce that. Uh, but hello to you as well. Uh, yeah, it's bizarre actually. Um, I never thought I'd see Madrid covered in snow. Good afternoon, Todd. This is EasyJ454. Um, uh, we are right now um, at 3,000 feet descending. Look at that. My channel livery actually works in model matching now as well. Um, basically, I've changed it so that all the Asobo A320s actually become my bespoke custom livery uh, for the channel. Thanks to Tommy HBK for creating that, of course. Um, a little commission drawing that I made, and he's turned it into a reality, which is really, really good. Uh, but I didn't expect to see that working, so I'm pretty impressed with that. Although he is inside a air bridge, bizarrely, so he's obviously got very different scenery to us. Never thought I'd see that. Uh, approach is, um, is, is four five four. Easy four five four. We're gonna identify descend five thousand feet. Scan it one zero one three. Is the wrong way to left. Descend five thousand feet. Alright, scan it one zero one three. And descend fourth. Uh, correction, five thousand feet. Ah yes, five thousand feet. Sorry, four five four. Look at him. We've literally filled a terminal up. Can't believe it. I love how this has turned into a group flight. So of course, I think in real life, um, I believe, um, I believe that. Um, Is it the one? Turn left via India. Stand three one. And was that for easy travel? Easy three one. Uh, stand three one. I believe that. Um, stand three one. Easy three two one. Easy four five four. Expedite this, please. I completely got sidetracked now. Teridimos, thank you very much for your donation. That's really kind of you. Thank you very much. EC454, you are very high and high. Uh, uh, fly on heading 130. Uh, say again. EC454, you are too high. Fly on heading 130 for descent. Roger that. Uh, descend and maintain 130. EC454. EC-454, negative, fly on heading 130 degrees. Oh, sorry, fly on, flying on heading 130 degrees. So I hi highly recommend, uh, I'm not sure if you're using charts, uh, Flappy Boy, but I highly recommend uh, using the charts to see where you're where you're going. Cause some, some of the waypoints for your uh, approach on the way in, they required you to be at flight level 150, so 15,000 feet at that waypoint. Um, so that's where it gets it gets quite important. Gets quite important to um, get all those uh, little bits of information correct there. Hey, <laughs> look at that! Eight of us, uh, well nine, once that uh, flappy boy flappy gets uh, gets down. And have a good rest of today. Bye bye, easy chat two eight. Yeah, aviation simulation. We are. Yeah, we've. I mean, we've Easy been on the ground for a long time now, but um, we're still waiting for people to land. And there goes Graham pushing back to return to Bristol. Um, who can work out an estimated time for uh, Flappy Boy to land? Uh, we be um, yeah, it's a good point as well. If you're logging into VATSIM, you need to make sure you're using the correct IVAO codes for the airlines. Um, so EasyJet, uh, EZY, EZU, I think, um, and EZJ, I think, are uh, the different, or e EJU, I can't remember. But um, if in doubt, use EZY. Um, because otherwise things like model matching don't work um, but also the controllers um, have to work out what they all are um, if they're not correct <laughs> I'm guessing Graham's going back on his own it's interesting now that the um, Yeah, EJU, that's it. Astro, thank you. 
I can't remember. I couldn't remember off the top of my head there for a second. Um, there was this, they've, they use three different ones, don't they? Depending on if it's EasyJet Europe or EasyJet Austria, EasyJet UK, and so on. There's a, a BA flight just spawned in there as well. You see, no problem. Um, thank you very much for flying with us. That's uh, really cool. Really enjoyed that. Easy six zero three six ready for uh, taxi. Easy six zero three six taxi via Golf four Mike to the north. You see, yeah, Mike impressive. Blue, um, Romeo holding point three six left. Taxi into uh, holding point three six left via Golf four Mike to the north and Mike Zulu. Easy six zero three. So I don't think they've ever had um, Mike Zulu and Romeo. wind like um, snow like this Apologies, ever. Mike Zulu and Romeo for easy six zero three six. Flash your lights for Graham. I can see them flashing. <laughs> I wonder if I if I click L, does that turn there we go. How's that? Flashing the light if you can see it. <laughs> I'm just gonna drop Graham a message on WhatsApp. Be flying over you guys now. Um, I don't think it should be. If I type dot aircraft into vpilot, it tells me what you would display as. So I can see your course sign there. Um, easy four, four five off left left on heading zero seven five degrees. It says that you're an A three twenty uh, easy jet livery. So uh, actually E A S W L. No, uh, European World Airlines, some random, uh, random livery. Actually, it's going to show you as uh, Flappy Boy. So you're up there somewhere, but you're going to be showing as a completely different livery. That's annoying. Where's the unreal weather gone again? That's quite annoying. It's supposed to be 50 centimetres. There goes Graham. So of course uh, Madrid, um, they used two to land, as we did today, landing on 3-2. And then uh, departures are on 3-6, uh, which are those two over there. Camera Mini, um, we all just logged into VATSIM uh, at the same time. How's Flappy Boy doing? 13,000 feet now. So he's, the approach controller is uh, doing a good job though. He's vectoring Flappy Boy further south to try and bring him round for a straight and approach. Four, five, five, left on him, zero, four, zero, there you go. Right there, left so Flappy Boy will be landing in a second, or in a few minutes, uh, as he's just said there in the live chat as well. There was a slight delay actually for me with me chatting still, but he's uh, probably about 20-30 miles out uh, the south down there. <laughs> That's madness. And then the uh, L hockey to get all the lights on. For a shortcut for all your lights uh, if you're trying to turn them all on. I'm going to be looking to schedule some flights over the next few days. I'm more than happy to uh, get some suggestions from you guys. So if there's somewhere you'd like to see or you'd want us to visit on uh, it, it would likely be Wednesday and potentially Friday uh, let me know a reminder we're doing the JFK to Heathrow transatlantic as well 
<laughs> you see, sir, uh, spammed. Uh, has the bot kicked into action on Discord yet, then? Let's have a little look. There's some great screenshots here from today's flight. Vieru's made it in from Gatwick, of course, as well. That's great, there's loads of us on the uh, on the stand for the pier. Love all those screenshots. Where's Graham? Taxi in there. It's quite a long taxiway, to be fair. Madrid's a massive airport, of course. It's weird how the stream issues sorted themselves out as well, because I didn't do too much differently. Premium Deluxe, of course. Madrid is a handcrafted airport, so uh, it's actually quite a nice handcrafted airport as well. EC454, left of him, 360 degrees, clear, I guess, approach, 32 left, report, please. There we go. Also, uh, turning left, heading 360 degrees, uh, report, on right now on ILS. For okay, thank you. Flappy boy's on his way in. We're playing God as he is on Discord. Yeah, very good timing to be fair. You see, uh, Especially, I think you had, you were said at the start, didn't you? You had slot delays at Gatwick Airport, so uh, you were stuck on the ground there for a little while. Let's have a quick look on the uh, uh, what was it content suggestions on the Discord. Let's have a little look. Uh, we could do. How long's the flight from Miami to Tonkontin? EZ6036 um, is just turning on to Romeo, we're also ready for the part. EZ6036, wind 080 degrees 3 knots, 36 left, can I take off? 2 hours 32 Let's non stop. Take off, left, EZ6036. So uh, I might do an American Airlines flight from Miami to, to uh, Gulf City Calpa. 454, QNH 1010. Don Contin, notoriously difficult approach uh, of course as well, so I might do that on uh, Wednesday. Uh, if you guys fancy that, you could always join us for that as well, if you like the sound of that. Or, um, what else is there as a suggestion that we could look at? Or we could do Grenada to St. Kitts and Nevis on VATSIM. Um, but there won't be any coverage there, of course. Um, it would just probably be all on Unicom, but um, we can Bad all connect onto Unicom anyway. Flight 85, good evening. Um, we are at 10 T19 with information uniform. We request IFR clearance to Blagnac. The last station, say again, call sign, please. All Paris, um, all to Ajaccio. Sierra, Lima, Yankees. Lubo, yep, this 85. is Madrid. 50 centimeters Flight of snow. We want to slap and approve runway 36 left, 36 left, Pinar to November departure. In the track line, 1, 3,000 feet. It's walk 4435. Uh, Astro, um, if you have the model for the A321 installed, um, then you can add it in. Um, I'll actually be releasing a video in in about, um, I think it's next weekend, um, on how to actually edit all of them yourself. Um, Slide 85, can you repeat the departure, please? Departure, Pinar, 2 November. So there's the options. Let me know uh, which one you prefer. Here's material indeed. De acuerdo, pues descendemos a 8000 pies y esperamos la. Y 
see six zero three six zero radar contact continue ground flight level two four zero. Oh Astro, yeah, no problem. So basically, um, we would have to have the A three twenty one models installed that work. So there is a way the IVA, I think, system does it. So I I can occasionally see A three twenty ones correctly. Uh, gadget. Um, with a model matching tool. It's basically you install a VMR file, and stick root in the different concentrations on Discord for another day that I'd recommend. Ian, yeah, awesome. Fly head five, um, departure. Runway 26 left via Pinar 2 November, initial climb for, uh, 13,000 feet, and score 4435. Slide 85, your readback is correct, it's push and start a processing north. Gadget, yep, everybody can log in and join us for that Back JFK flight. So uh, you can log in with us. Slide 85, sorry. Slide 85, the exit 1013. That's uh, already scheduled on the channel. Nine o'clock Zulu departure from JFK. I'm sorry, can you repeat last transmission? Light 85, the QNH 1013. QNH 1013, thank you. Gadget, so I'm using multiple. Um, I've got uh, my one from flightsim.to. And I've got the Mr. Mercury Airlines VMR file, um, and that's it. I've actually tweaked it for my own setup over the last few weeks as well, just to try and update a few bits. And uh, I will be showing people how to do a video over the next few weeks covering um, covering how to actually create and edit the VMR file yourself. Um, so Flappy Boy is, um, because he's logged in on vPilot as um, as a uh, as easy spelled E-A-S-Y the model matching hasn't actually worked properly so he's gonna be in a random aircraft model and uh, it's not gonna be a correct airline and I don't think he's gonna have any lights on. So uh, I'm not even sure if he's down to be honest. I don't think he's down yet. So if you want to display properly, yeah, see there he is. So um, so what Flappy Boy should have done um, for next time, log in as um, the correct call sign identifier, so easy, EZY. And uh, then also you need to make sure, because you're in an A320neo, your aircraft type code should be A20N for November. Um, but so what he's done here is he's because he's not gone as a correct login for aircraft type or call sign, um, it's actually just generated a random IVAO model, um, which I think is just some random default thing. Uh, which isn't great. We'll wait for him to land, and uh, then we will uh, end the stream. I think. Uh, I think that, but that'd be everybody actually. So uh, yeah. Yeah, Yeah, no pressure, there's a little bounce there. 
So you can see if you don't log into the correct, um, if you don't log into V Pilot correctly with the correct aircraft type or anything else, it assigns you something really random like we can see here. So it's just given a very generic IVAO model, European Air Wings, whatever that is. Um, so that's why it's always important to log in with um, A, the correct aircraft type, which would be A20N, but also the correct call side identifier of uh, EZY for EasyJet. There we go, Let's zoom out and get a good view of uh, Madrid as Flappy Boy uh, taxis off. There we go, folks. So, we'll, um, we'll end the stream there for today. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in and watching. Thank you to those of you, uh, the eight of you, who decided to jump in and fly with us as well. That always makes it uh, more entertaining. Uh, Redian's asked for Grenada to St. Kitts. Uh, nobody else has voted, so we'll go with that one for the next stream. Be sure to check out the new membership options and uh, let me know what you think of those uh, if you want any particular perks or anything that might be good for either of the bands. Um, happy to quite happy to tinker those. If you're brand, uh, brand new to the channel, do click the subscribe button down below as well while you're here. And if you haven't already, give us a little thumbs up or a like down below as well. But thank you all for watching, every one of you for tuning in and flying with us. And uh, I'll see you next week for another live stream. And uh, in the meantime, uh, have a great rest of the weekend.